Maza, you just did an incredibly brave thing. But what What's you should what you should have done was land your plane. You don't own that plane. The taxpayers do. What you should have done Son. land your plane. You don't own that plane. Oh, oh. Son, your ego is riding checks your body can't cash. You've been busted. You lost your qualification as section leader three times, put in heck twice by me. With a history of high speed passes over five air control towers and one admiral's daughter. <laughs> and let's not bullshit, Mother. Your family name ain't the best in the Navy. Oh, you need to be doing it better and cleaner than the other guy. <laughs> now, don't screw around with me, Mother. You're one hell of an instinctive pirate. Maybe too good. I'd like to bust your butt, but I can't. I, I, I got another problem here. I gotta send somebody from this squadron to Miramar. I gotta do something here. I still, I still can't believe it. I gotta give you your dream shot. I'm gonna send you up against the best. You two characters. I'm going to Top Gun. Old school. Dog don't hunt. <laughs> I'll make you famous. <laughs> <laughs> Here you find the finest 
bottle makers in all of part of Australia. <laughs> oh, and part. a small part of Birmingham, England. The finest model makers I've ever seen. Also, one or two diseases. Carried <laughs> by none other than General Michael Reed. From Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> yes, Siri. Welcome, everybody, to Top Gun Model School. <laughs> We're back, everyone. We're back. We're back. We're back. Oh, yeah. Let's uh, see who we've got. Good what is thy bidding, my master? Pod Racing Palpatine is here. The Nuclear Jawa on Instagram. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, I'm good. Yourselves, you're good. You uh you're at the bar today? Back at the bar, back at the bar. Back at the bar, back at the bar. We like that backdrop, don't we, uh, Michael? <laughs> yeah, one of my favorites. <laughs> it's Pops. Thanks for the drink, mate. How how are you, Pops? Oh, what's your <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Just relaxing today. Happy yeah. Easter weekend to you, sir. Yes, and you? Yeah. What are you building for us today? Um, um, yeah, a variety of things, but um, oh, oh, unmistakable. Ooh. Going with the, um, the Empire Strikes Back blue today. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. And, uh, yeah. and a bit of that. Oh, X-wing as well. Very X nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right. Good to see you, good to see you. Next up, we have the general of the Underpants Squad. Hashtag UPS. The man that was didgeridooing me last night <laughs> in, order, in order to convey... I can hear his, the motor coming. The his engine. desires <laughs> and fantasies regarding... A certain puzzle queens. <laughs> well endowed. We'll, we'll say nothing. <laughs> I'm, Michael, she'll be here, I'm sure, soon. G'day to you, sir. G'day to you. G'day. How are you? All right. I'm going to build this. Nice. Same series as you built the other day. Yeah. Um, which is uh, Witch of Mercury series. They, th these are the best HG kits to buy from. The, I like these it. are the ones. Yeah. So I, I've got a heap of them. I've built, I think, about nine from the series actually now. From wow. So, yeah, there's um, – and uh, during the week I actually built a couple of other Gundams for fun. So this is uh, – Look at this guy. Oh, you love this guy, Rum. That He's like guy. an underwater guy. Ah. And I think, uh, I think you should say that. I've got this guy as well. Yeah. Ah, look at him. So Very I built nice. them during the week. Um, and I also, thanks to Muzza, I picked up this for $20 today, as you can see. Oh, the sweet. Boba Fett. Nice. Yeah. And the other the other thing I've got is my biggest Gundam kit I'm going to attempt yet, which is this guy. Wow. Um, look at the thickness of the box compared to the to the others. It's quite a a hefty box, so there's wow. going to be a lot of sprues in there. This is um same scale as what I do, but it's an absolute huge suit. It's like a really tall, massive. But I'm going to work on this one today, the uh, Dali Blade. That is sweet. So, yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Good to see everyone. And, uh, yeah, thank you for having me on. <laughs> always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Next up, we have, from down under, channeling the dark side, the dark lord of the model kit himself, Darth Massa, 67 Chris on Instagram. 
Hey, hey, good day. Good day. You day. Making, you're making a little face. <laughs> little face. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost monkey lizard, isn't it? Yeah, I was trying for monkey lizard, but I can't quite get them out. Right. Good, mm. good ears. Good ears. Good ears. Good ears. Yeah. Cheers at the bar, pups. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh. 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 We'll be making our orders later, I'm sure. We'll be getting our orders in. Yeah. Yeah. Good week, everyone. Good week. Yeah. Good bad. Week. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Back again. We're back. So I've got a lot of um, a lot of spraying to do tonight. Mm. <laughs> all this is going to be done. And the jet is all going to be hit with a bit of um, matte varnish. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh -oh. Is that, is that, is that, is that what he says to the ladies? As well as keeping an eye on you. A lot of spraying to do. <laughs> as well as keeping an eye on you. Already. You started him already. <laughs> already, <Yeah. laughs> it didn't take long. Uh, you, you, must got, be, you got you got you, be spraying. Uh, you, you got your paper towel. You got yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> your band aids. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, I have got my paper towel. Darth just told me to go and get my paper towel because yeah, today uh, I didn't think I didn't think I would have some Gundam. Although I have got two Gundam just arrived. So, oh, show me, show me. But, <laughs> I'll show you in a second. Um, <laughs> but um, I've got a load of these. So we're doing we're on to Airfix, uh, Superfire Submarine uh, Mark One A, um, but this comes with glue and paint. Um, there's even a paintbrush involved. Oh, oh, oh. So mm. we're going to get messy today, and uh, oh, yeah. so this this should be interesting. Um, but yes, I have got. I have ordered. I'm on a Gundam thing with you. I think I ordered four. Two of them yeah. arrived. Funny yeah. you should say that about the underwater one because there's one. Oh, that's it's so much fun, mate. It really is. It's, it's a fun little build that I really enjoyed it. So there's one, and then this one has just arrived as well. Oh, yeah, so, it's one of the original suits as well. Yeah, yeah, just um, they were cheap. Going up, Gundam old school. Yeah, no, yeah, that's that's good. the older ones. That's good. So, um, but I'm looking forward to getting this glue out. So, uh, oh, okay, yeah. watch out! I know. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Yeah. Uh, Amazon has. Like a small little like plastic case mm. with all the tools you need to build models, especially Gundams. There's like a Gundam building kit. And well, it comes with like a really nice sharp pair of nippers and stuff like that. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You mean like well, that? That's what you need. Okay. Well, I've, had that, I've had that all along. What are you on about? I, I'm pretty sure I watched that... a replay of you pulling things off Look. sprues the other day. Look. That's not how you build a gun to make. <laughs> my... Look. I've, yeah, had, I've had this for ages. There's my. Well, good. This ain't my first rodeo. <laughs> all right. Uh... Take it back. Good to see. I just, I like, just want to make sure I like, that I like, the tools are being just, utilized. That's all. Well, I don't use them. No, I don't use them. I like to just rip them. No, off. that's pulling things off sprues isn't probably the way to do it, mate. Just quietly. No, I, I know. I know. I know. Anyway, I know. you've got the tools there, and there's no excuse for it to use them now, is there? No excuses. No excuses. <laughs> Sorry about that, but yeah, it was inflicting pain watching you pulling things off sprues the other day. No, all right. <laughs> I'll come. I'll come back to this then today. I'll come back to this it's for you. Cool, cool. Oh, look at that! <laughs> See, I'm so much happier. <laughs> uh, Pete's toys and things is with us. He says afternoon. G'day, Pete. Hey, Pete. Hey, Our Pete. resident pirate. Our resident pirate. Oh, to, uh, be sure. <laughs> to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. 
<laughs> shimmer me timbers me laddie <laughs> Uh, PJ That's Roby's it. here. He says, hashtag MLA. That's it. Hashtag MLA. Cheers, PJ. Oh, the, Ro the Rolo bot is in operation. Is he? Was he Good in operation see. last night? Was he in operation last night? Yeah, we, he was on with Cat for a little while. As I said, Cat's not doing well. Oh, bless her. As I said, you know what's happened. Her meds have run out, and they don't get filled until... Well, she had to go to bed and everything and get through yesterday without them, put it that way. Oh, dear. And I think she gets to pick them up sometime today. So, yeah. She's hanging for that, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's uh, living with pain is a nightmare, and it's not good. Yeah. Yeah. It's not good. Sure. So, Mr. B is with us. Mr. B. Good day. Oh, Mr. B, the scene. And uh, the Ghost Walker is mm. Chris, the Ghost Walker. There we go. There's one, two, three monkey lizards on the dance floor. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Oh, John Lapulse. Hello, Mr. John Lapulse. Welcome. Just the Baldry. Mr. Yeah. Baldry himself. Now he's, hey, he's posting videos as well. Uh, good to see wow. you videos, John. Yeah, go and check out John's YouTube channel and um, just give him a sub because he's just started out. And uh, hopefully, Rolo will be able to post, post his link. And he's posted, he's done, f I think, four videos so far. I just watched one today. He's been showing off his toy room, which is very impressive. And he posted a video, he posted a video today of about 10 mint on card original Star Wars carded figures that he oh, bought really? about, he bought about 10 or 15 years ago for like 30 quid or something off somebody at a at a um garage sale or something some some crazy buy so that's incredible check. yeah so go check that out definitely worth a watch uh peter's got his didgeridoo out so there might be some messaging going on later cool I'll have to whip mine out too. <laughs> yeah. This is how we communicate. We don't rely on social media. Michael gets his history do out. So do I. Yeah. So we, go, we go and stand on our. I go and stand on Salisbury Hill. He stands on some other hill somewhere in Melbourne, and we we didgeridoo to each other. He yeah, said, um, um, "Maybe laughter." That's it. Basil the dark like Amazing how effective it is. Good to see you, Buzzer. And who else we got? Jumpy McClunky is with us, the general of the Cucumber Squad. Says yes, afternoon, he is. Rob. Saying hello to everyone. Good Jonathan. afternoon to you, sir. And the man flies uh, we also have the Smirking Bear as well, all the way from Canada. Smirking Bear says, All hail. Rum. He's always happy, isn't he? He's always smirking. He's always. He's a talented artist, you know. That smirking, the very talented. Okay. Now he said he's also. Oh, there we go. We got the rum out. Rum. Oh, oh that. watch out! Look at that. Nice, nice, nice. Yes. Hide the rum. <laughs> uh, smirking says he's also bought some model kits. Well, you should jump on and build them with us then. Come and join yeah. the come and join the model schools, Mister Smirking. Uh, uh, Jumpy says, "Chew sprues, you lose." We uh we accept model builders of all standards. We're all inclusive here, aren't we, Ron? Especially thespians. If any thespians model Best. builders are out there, <laughs> we're very supportive of thespianism. Uh, of course we are. We're very liberated here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Brian Myers is with us. He says hi everyone. Finally catching a live stream. Been working a what? Been working a lot lately. It's good to well, see that you. That sucks, too. Brian. G'day. Yeah. Good to see you. Now, question, Darth. Should I be painting this pre or after sprue? Um, after. 
Okay. You're probably in your instructions. You see, have you started with the instructions yet? I've got them out. I haven't read them. I'm just looking at them. I don't what's really that, read. What, what, what's stage one say? Stage one shows the it's cutting the little man out. Little putting man. him in the cockpit. Well, cracking the cockpit. Are you gonna are you gonna use the little man or are you gonna you can leave him out if you if you want. Have him like uh, Oh, I feel like I've got to put the little man in. So I'm gonna well I'll give him I'll, I might not. It's a little bit intricate, all of the yeah, I'll, I'll go for well, the little we, man. We, the little man you can probably skip and come back to. Okay. There's never a big try as long as you get him in before you put the cockpit on. Okay. Um but start with the uh, it should the next thing should be his chair and the inside of the cockpit. Yeah. So you want to paint up those little bits and oh, really? you'll have you'll have color call outs. Color call outs next to each part. You should uh, okay. There'll be a be a letter in oh, let me have a look ethics. I think it's a letter. Usually, a two. Isn't there a key like in the front of the instructions? You'd think, wouldn't you? Yeah. I think yeah. there is. I think the paints are numbered. Something Explain like. what yeah. all the symbols yeah. mean, isn't there? Like yeah. a key? Because they'll, they'll be old humbral paints, um, and they're the numbers on top of the pot, usually. Doesn't actually tell you a color. Sometimes it just it'll just have the number for the color. Oh, it's on the box. It's on the box. Oh, uh, there you go. It's on the box. Oh, I don't. It is on the. It is on the top as well. Sorry. Okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna make a mess here, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably. But... Why have I got poly cement? Because that's what he is. That, that's for you gluing your parts together. Oh, so you're probably cool. gonna you're probably gonna put all these seat together on the on the little there should be a floor bit that it'll go on. Yeah. And then a little um like I hope it's controls and it's control <laughs> stick usually. Some 72 scale, isn't it? There shouldn't be too much involved inside the cockpit. Yeah, it's quite a bit. Yeah. Um, does right. Michael take his dog house to every stream he goes to? Yeah, well, that's yeah. where I live. Yeah, I'm never going to be released by the puzzle queen, so yeah. Well, I mean, I'm sure I'll he's... do something on this stream that keeps me there. It's because he's always talking about her, <laughs> you know, cat's assets, really. That's what gets him into trouble. Well, it's lucky she's not here. Hey, Kat, oh. how you doing? Yeah, great. <laughs> how you doing, Kat? You all right? Yeah, all yeah. right. Good to see you. That's how it goes. Good to see you. Yes. He's only said two, he's only said two mildly, um, mildly um, offensive things. <laughs> There's John Now Pulse's channel, look. Oh, free, yeah. Perhaps it's reminded me if it was free. It was free. Yeah, There's John Lab Pulse's channel. There we go. Go and give him a sub. And the model kits are coming in the mail. Mr. B yes. says, after I get my Yoda from Zombie, I'm going to have mm -hmm. smoke and make a Star Wars-themed native drum. That sounds cool. That sounds very cool. Uh, maybe we could form a band. Michael will get his didgeridoo out. Um, Smirking can get his drum. Um, <laughs> I'm sure Muzzer can play the flute or something. I play the saw. He can, the saw. Beat, the, he the can saw. beat the sticks. I can play the hand yeah. saw. Hand saw. Mm -hmm. I yeah, reckon like Palps, a carpenter's Palps all day can play the spoons. All day. All can't day. Be, yeah, we can't be carpenter without playing the saw, can we? Yeah. I can get, get a mean solo going on the saw. There you go. I'll have to pull it out one day, show you. Oh, that's very, 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 very strange sound comes out. <laughs> oh, sure does. 
it's pretty cool actually. Well, when you're bored on site, nothing much else to do. Well, that all. Set includes four acrylic paints, one brush, one poly cement. Yep. And there so you is, poly... that's See what we're doing. There's the guide. So I don't have any poly cement. Oh, do I? No, I don't. Um, do you know, these look maybe these paints, maybe these paints have dried up, you know, because. This is probably Something that happened. Is it an older kit or yeah? It... Looks like they dried up, you know. So I may have I may have escaped this one. I think you need to build a gun. Are you gonna put this one on the back burner for a while? Oh no, they're not. They're actually fine. Okay. There we go. There we go. He's back. It, has it got a date on the um on the box when it was brought out? Um because I know that they, I've watched a channel before, and, and they had the guy on who designed their latest Spitfire. Um, wow. Yeah. 2010. Okay, that's the old one then. Yeah, these, these they were selling them off at um, like Aldi or something like that for £3 each. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What a, what we had them in ours in Australia. We had the Revel kits like that. I remember seeing it in our Audi. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> had, like, the old Audi special the guys. Revel um, car kits. Like a few like hot rods and things. They also, I've seen them have... Um, uh, they had a heap of uh, like Kenworths and Peterbilt trucks with oh. trailers kits for right. a while too. Yeah, oh, they were there for a little while because uh, I don't think there's a lot of big trucky fans, obviously. All right, the little man is off the sprue. Let's get his seat. Where's his seat? To be on the Luckily, there's only two sprues to mess around with because it's quite a small set. So, God, I would cheat and just paint the uh, cockpit black. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably the way to go. Yeah, yeah. that's tell you what, I'm gonna make the plane, I think, first. Well, Mars, Mars, the plane, the plane. You skip them. You skip them parts. I'm skipping out. Jumping ahead. The plane. The only thing though, the um, a lot of the interior, um, and the sort of the braces, the outside walls of the the fuselage. Okay. So uh, test fit, test fit, test fit before you glue. Yes. Does this just clip together or does the yeah. chassis clip together? None of it will click together. There might there'll be locator pins for stuff that you'll drop a bit of that glue onto. Um uh, oh yeah. Oh god, this is gonna be complicated, isn't it? Uh, you haven't got 30 glasses yet, have you? No, it doesn't just clip together. I, I assumed it would just clip together. But, uh... Oh, no. Yeah. It's got to glue together. Yeah. Oh. And you've got to be moderate with uh -huh. the glue or else you'll have glue spills all over your plastic. Uh, and... check, check your seams. I might just put this back in the box and save this for another time then. Stop. Gun time. <laughs> I, I will say this: that that, that glue they give you is usually mm. pretty crap. Yeah. Um, okay. You need like a fast drying liquid cement rum. Like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this back, and I'm gonna do a Gundam. I'm gonna save yeah. this for another time. Yeah, right. get some of that. One of us. One of us. 
I figured uh, there would at least be some clippy clippy together, but it looked like any of it clips together. It looks like it's all glued. Like... Luckily, I bought a load of these plastic wallets. Nice. So I can just... I'll do a Gundam instead. They're a bit simpler. Yes, they are. I, I do fear the glue smirking. I do. I do. Let's put the little... Man... If you get some, if you get some of that stuff, sort of um, tomato extra thin, comes with a little brush. I think I need a, to be in a better place. A bit of place, but you do need a a bit of a zone to get. Yeah. Into. You get that. The other but, thing is, it's it's hey. kind of thing you got to uh, leave set up while things drying and exactly. Yeah, you, know what I mean? you, can't just, you can't just you can't just pack it away because no. Well, for example, in our case, the stream's over. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. Well, I do. I live alone. <laughs> yeah, and 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 you have a devoted space. Right. We'll do a Gundam. We'll do a Gundam. That's fine. We'll do a Gundam. Well, I was going to say, too, I went to EB today as well. Well, Did you? he's been buying. Oh, you oh, he's got the Mandalorian as well. $20. Oh, you got it as well? Good. $20. $20. Is... $20 is... <laughs> well, I considering have... they're like normally 60 here, Rum, it, it is yeah. unbelievable. Do you know, I haven't found stuff. those Star Wars Bandai ones cheap anywhere yet. They're a minimum of 40 quid on eBay. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 20, 20 Aussie dollars. 20 yeah. Aussie. God. That's yeah, like, that's like 10, that'd be like 10 quid to you. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, that's good. That, that model on Amazon is probably about 60 pounds. Yeah. Mm. yeah. We're also got. Oh, Tiny. nice. They didn't oh, have any that, vehicles that. at mine. I only had figures. So so this little one will jet you, jet its way to merry old England to your door, Bob. Say again. I said I'll send this one over to you. Oh, you don't have to do that. That's crazy postage yeah. for the time by the time you've spent postage on it. Oh, so I appreciate the thought, man. But that's really, it's honestly, it's not necessary. Well, it won't get there, rum anyway, because he'll buy Tim Tams to send out, <laughs> <laughs> and it'll, it'll get too <laughs> hot, and he'll, he'll eat the Tim Tams. <laughs> Just by excuse. We've heard this story before, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, if I can get some more Tim Tams in the house, it's... no. <laughs> Any excuse to get Tim Tams in the house? Tim Tams. We're gonna have to do our um. Slam off. Well, we yes, we'll have to do a penguin, but we, we do need to do that at some point. We should film mm -hmm. it, shouldn't we? We should film. What's it. a penguin? A penguin's a similar kind of. Uh, it's, the original, or, it's the original. Or, Tim Tam. Or what? should I say, cookie? I don't know if it is. It's what Tim Tam I copied think... to create. Uh, no, I Tim think Tam. we used to have. I think we used to have those on our shelves, and I think I remember them. What you're talking about the. Penguins. I think we had them in Australia a long time ago. They're they're pretty old, yeah. They've been around a long time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, he's, I reckon we clear. used to oh, get look, them here. There's, there's the clear star destroyer. Look, look at that. Oh wow, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. I've got that set here somewhere. Yeah. Does that mean you can see all the people walking around in it? Yeah. <laughs> I've got the opposite set for that Falcon. So I've got this the Y Falcon X Wing and Death Star. Wow, what's that one, Pelps? That's that, cool. that's the clear star destroyer. Ooh, that that's, is a it. that's a fancy box. Mm, just... Who makes that? Is that is that Bandai as well? Um, I think that is bad. Is that bad? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2018, made in Japan. Hence all the. Uh... Hence the yeah. <laughs> oh, the other, the other one of that. It's got all. It's the clear falcon, Y wing, and 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. That's it. Good set. Oh, yeah, you can get all, all of them together, can't you? I forgot about that. And I don't know whether, like, the whole idea around it, I've heard people use it, like, still paint it, but put lighting inside it so the light travels through the glass. Oh, no, I'll just keep so them to the it, they're too small. I can't, I'll, I'll use it. They're too small. What the? I still put lighting in that falcon, though, and it's like tiny. Oh, no. Oh, no. The sound you never no, heard. no, no. I just got a message from Kat saying you wouldn't believe it, but because they're closing down for the Easter, they're not going to fill her meds today. And she desperately needs them. And then she they're saying they're too busy and they can't do it for her today. That poor girl. Kat, you have to ring up if you're listening. Got to ring up and insist on it. And then if they give you guff, I reckon jump in the car and drive down there. And I don't know. Just demand them. Be very uh, yeah. disagreeable. Be very disagreeable. And then while you're down there, if they uh, refuse you uh, your medication, pick up a bottle of vodka. <laughs> Get yourself well lubricated for the rest of the day. <laughs> it works for me. No. Okay, this is definitely more my level with Gundam. Kids. Oh yeah, they're more user friendly, aren't they? <laughs> In a way. <laughs> MSM 07 Zgok. Principality of Zeon. These are the bad guys, aren't they? Yeah, Zeon's um yeah. But um yeah, they're, they're the ones that made the uh original bad guys. Um uh, what were the suits called? Um Oh, is it Zeta or whatever? Suits, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, anyway. I mean, who cares? If you like the look of it, build it, I reckon. Go for it. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'm I, down with these Gundy sets completely. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in the mind of I'm going to build whatever I like the look of. And, you know. I have enjoyed building, you know, the series, but then I'm going to pick and choose occasionally from other like, other series. Stick with the same scale, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, why not? Build what you like, yeah. Yeah, that's what I reckon. That's what I'm going to have on my, my Gundam shelves going to be uh, just filled with what I like. And there's some really cool ones coming out this year too. So I um I caught a caught a, a couple of videos on YouTube. I know uh, Colby Games made one talking about some of the new releases coming out this year. Bandai did a bit of a yeah, Bandai did a bit of a what do you call it a Hasbro Pulse kind of thing. He's got an insane collection of Gundam. Like a whole oh, yeah, I know. I oh, know. I think it, he was part of the inspiration. Originally, I when I first watched him building Gundams, I was like, I think I'd like to give that a go one day. And here I am. Uh, Pete says... I've got, a, I've got all the accessories. <laughs> Pete says, P -p 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 pick, pick up a penguin. Cat <laughs> uh, says, you can't act like that. They would call the cops for being unruly. Um, it just is what it is. One month, they kept forgetting to show my my order. Tell, uh, them, tell them that you're going to go down there and do a, a Karen. Get someone to film it and post it on YouTube. You know, the Karens you see in Walmart and stuff yelling at the staff. 
crazy Karens out there. Oh, yeah. All right. I am using my pliers on this sprue. Michael Apparently, Gross. there's a male version of Karen. I forget what the name is. Ken, isn't it? Is it? Ken? Yeah. I remember on the radio, they were talking about Karens and stuff, and uh, they were talking about the male version. And this lady got rang on and said, well, my name's Karen, and I'm married to a Ken, and we're normal. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing my head off. <laughs> that was pretty good. A25 and A26. A25 and A26. Oh, yeah. We're already 40 minutes in. Wow. Jeez. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> I've just been cleaning the airbrush. Uh, 25. That sounds better. Right next to each other. Of course they are. Of course they are. Oh, I've uh, worked out how to film um, my new series. It's taken me a while, but I've worked out how to practically film uh, Fingered by Rum. Really? Yeah. I have to use pens, though. I have to use pens because I can't... Cold, yeah, I but can't that makes film. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so the puppets. question is, so the question is, do I do it on the Spacious Room channel in a new its own playlist, or do I make a whole new channel called Fingered by Rum just for that? Ooh. Ooh. That's the question. That's interesting. Um yeah. Um I mean I'll watch it either way. But uh, there you go. I think it's. I think it'll be. Uh, <sighs> knowing Rum's previous work in the past, I'm sure it'll be very funny. Well, Bert's going to need to make an appearance at some point. Oh, Bertrand. <laughs> Yeah, it's so much easier, uh, like when it's like this. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can, like, you can have it so that it's under. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm very stressed. I'm very stressed. Need to reduce the light though for them. He's, he's translucent. So if you like scripted like a. I w w I'm working on it. I'm working on that bit. Cool. I've been using my phone though to film when it's not as bright as this, and if, and the uh, so he shows up a bit better. Yeah, and then you can you can yeah. get. Different focus to zoom in. Yeah, and then I need to. I need some different backdrops for them. You know, different settings. Well, you should be. A, you should be able to um do that with your using your your uh, monitor. Don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That you yeah, can film yeah. rum in front of. Shouldn't <laughs> yeah. you be able to do that? Yeah. 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 That's cool. Oh, in, in, in tonight's case, Pilly. Yep. Have you attempted... I haven't watched that video, I apologise, but did you um attempt fixing? Not yet. 
not yet, but have you seen somebody sent like, somebody sent me the tool? Yes. I, 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 I still don't know who it yeah. was. It's really? gotta be you still slow. Yeah, you're right. It was like a, in a within a day it was sent to you. Yeah, um, from Amazon. So um so, right. so I suppose anybody um because chip chip once um we were doing a live stream uh yeah. chip um chip bought me a raspberry cheesecake from a local dessert shop and got it delivered to my door <laughs> you paid for it online. during the stream yeah, yeah. that's right uh, and this guy knocked on the door and he was like hello and I'm like, yeah he said cheesecake <laughs> i'm like what <laughs> Come on! Did he knock on the door and really say that, or did he yeah. say, "I'm here to, I'm here to fix the cable"? Yeah. What... <laughs> the pool. I'm here to clean the pool. Yeah. I'm here to clean the pool. <laughs> hey, Bow. How's it going, dude? It's good to see you. Welcome, good day, Welcome, welcome. Uh... Is it worse than program? Jumpy says, pickles, not pens. Pickles, not pens. I've got a little pickle. Did you see the little pickle? <laughs> Did you see the little pickle that Jumpy sent me? A little pickle? Yeah. Did you, have you seen it? Oh, I don't know. Pens it's... work pretty well. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Bertrand, Bertrand. Let's move them next to each other. Because yeah. you can, because you can go like this. Look, you can go. Oh, you go. Get, get in focus. Ah, Bertrand. Ah. Oh, I'm stressed. Bert. I'm stressed. Ah, I'm very stressed. Very stressed. Very stressed. How are you? Sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm, I'm loving Easter. I've got days off work, and yeah, having a good time. Oh yeah, Bertrand, Bertrand, but 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 is that Michael Reed stuck his finger up your bum again today? Oh, he's he's gone and thrust a pen up there this time. Oh, he's put a pen up your bum. Oh, oh, it's stressful, it's stressful. Well, it's, stressful. it's probably a little bit kinder because it's a little bit skinnier than his finger, so to speak. So <laughs> it's not as much girth, not as much girth. No. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, if you've just tuned in, this is Top Gun Model School. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm I think I'll get back, I'm going to get back to building. See ya. See you later, see ya. See you later, see you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with us? I love it. <laughs> Yeah, Jumpy sent me a package, and this was in it, uh, Ooh. Which, was, which was curious. I was like, oh, okay, what's this? So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. This is... Uh, uh, Does it need batteries? Doesn't need batteries. <laughs> Doesn't need batteries, no, Michael, no. Batteries are not required. Uh, right. Is it solar powered? It's in a very nice kind of lavender violet little bag. Look, and there's a little there's little lavender hearts in there. Look, Ooh. and then you take you take this out. Turn this going? Watch out. Put it on the screen. Take that out. And then don't want to lose my little hearts. So I'll put it there. And then this is I love this thing. This makes me laugh every time. All right. Let's see if I can get this on the screen. Without it. There. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. I don't know if it's washing out. Let's turn the light off. Oh, I, I do remember it, but yeah, there you, that is absolutely awesome. There you go. It? There you go. Look at that. It's Mr. Pickle. 
It's a little sliced pickle. It's Mr. got little pickle eyes. That was peeled pickle. off uh, the window of a McDonald's. Look at that. Mr. Pickle. Was there a thing in the UK? We have these on... Um, we do have... We, I think everyone has these in McDonald's, don't they? On the burgers. The yeah, but... Um, do, did you have the thing where people used to throw them against, like, the window of the store? Oh, maybe. Maybe. And, and they slide down? Yeah, possibly. You used to, you used to see that a lot well, once upon a time. <laughs> possibly. They probably would... Probably wouldn't tolerate it anymore. <laughs> Why not that that... Yeah. yeah they always McDonald's ruining everyone's fun. I don't know. All we wanted to do was throw a pickle against the wall. <laughs> I actually quite like the pickle and the burgers, so I always eat it. So yeah. I, I I ain't be throwing mine <laughs> to be honest. I don't know how I'm still awake. I got up at, um, well, actually, I got up like 10 and a half hours ago. <laughs> no. Sorry, what am I talking about? No, I'm I'm like an hour and fifty minutes away from being up twenty four hours. <laughs> I don't understand it. So, Muzz, are you finally finishing the model off, or is it still got some stuff? Well, this work? is all the, um, this is all like a semi-gloss to flat coat to give it a heap of texture. Yeah. Um, because next I'm going to pull out the oil paints and all weather, and the the texture gives the paint something to grip to. And, uh, You've got to love this guy. He gets it painted to better than what most of us could do and then he goes and then he goes and puts paint over the top of it again <laughs> but yeah you can see how it's it's just knocked that back it's in, not been looking shiny it's just dead in that shine out of it okay. it's not dead flat but you pretty much save all your dead flat for um sci-fi I will rip some stuff a lot. Just put straight flat paint on it. I'm waffling. Not at all. Um, is yeah, it Good Friday for you guys in the UK today? Yeah, right, Saturday. Saturday. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Good Friday. Do yesterday. you got? Does everything close down on Good Friday in the UK or? Because, like, I'll tell you what it's like here. We don't have any retail, pretty much, because it all shuts down. I mean, you've got your petrol stations or your gas stations, whatever you want to call them. Um, they're open. Um, so a lot of them function as convenience stores as well. But um, no grocery stores are open, nothing. General retail's not open. Um, to after twelve o'clock, some of the um bars and like takeaway foods are open, but that's pretty much Good Friday in Australia. Uh, of course, the casino opens, but uh, I think they have to wait till midday or something. But yeah, 
takeaways and service stations, right? Yeah, takeaway and takeaway food and server is pretty much it. And the other thing that happens in Australia, what probably happens in the UK, is that on Good Friday, uh, the old fish and chip shops literally print money because everyone wants to eat fish on Good Friday. Yeah. So that's a thing too. I was very upset with myself this year. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to get out fishing to catch my fish for Good Friday, so I had to buy it. Oh no! I hate having to buy fish. Well, I'm sure as a fisherman, probably yeah. Okay, that's not that yeah. tough. <clears throat> I think a lot over here. They either trade you like Sunday hours or Saturday hours, but. Nothing really shut down. Yeah, wow. Um, I mean, the other thing that we've just sort of had, like in the last decade, is they allow um, sport to be played, live sport. So. Oh, yeah, we had sport. Yeah. But it's not until, like, you know, dusk, like 4.30, 5 o'clock at night, they they start. So it's not until the evening, basically, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, the other thing that opens, of course, and it's actually probably the second biggest uh, is uh, the cinemas. So, like, um, for example, like Ghostbusters and stuff all started, like, on Thursday night um, for Good Friday. So, like, we, a lot of new films come out. Uh, yeah, that's another thing that opens, I guess. Yeah, I think ours was just like a pretty regular sort of Friday. <laughs> yeah. One of the main rail networks out of London decided to do engineering work for the whole bank holiday, which upset a lot of people yeah so, no trains out of london to milton Keynes. it's like great a bit of planning but i mean you probably know that's coming isn't that's probably a normal easter thing i guess is it i would advertise it but some people just don't check don't they? and blew around the station like lost souls my answer was going to be you're going to have to ask palps whether things are open or not because i don't leave the, i don't leave the flat unless i need to <laughs> yeah and i guess you might have got takeaway food but that's always open they that is yeah. the, the restaurants are always bloody open in my city like every day they don't show really? i was going to say i don't think the city shut down at all yesterday it was just normal sort of trading Okay. Went through, uh, went through the ball ring about half six I last night. It's all still open. I wonder if we'll get that in Australia. <sighs> the ball ring, the good old ball ring. I miss the old, I, I like the new ball rings nice, but I reminisce on the days of the old ball ring. I used to, I used to, I used to religiously every Saturday, I'd go and see my nan in Shirley, and then we'd, we'd get the bus to to Spark Hill and would walk the Sparkbrook Road and then I'd leave her and I'd go into town and have a long, have a gander around the boring the old market. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'd come back with some dodgy uh, dodgy fake fake trainers or something some The old, uh, the old knockoffs. The old knockoffs. Great for knockoffs was the old, uh, the old boring market. Mate, we still get them. We've got um, here in Melbourne. We've got the Queen Victoria market, which is a bit of a tourism attack a, attraction and stuff. But um, yeah, that they uh, still have a fair share of. Uh, you know, knock off clothing and 
t-shirts and not so much shoes but um there's a lot of does it like shoes that look a lot like your your brands that your big brands but you definitely get you know your calvin klein knockoff t-shirts and all that sort of gear yeah definitely, definitely get all that and the other thing they sell a lot of is um uh, Australian souvenirs, believe it or not, because a lot of tourists go there. So there's a lot of uh, Australian souvenirs being sold, which are made in China, most of them. Um, <laughs> so get this authentic, uh, what do you call it? Authentic uh, boomerang made in Shanghai. No. <laughs> Oh, I've just uh, where's that gone? I've just clipped a piece off all these pliers. Oh, where's it gone? Mate. Where's it gone? See so the the trick is you gotta yeah. just be Where the hell I didn't even so hear it. Go mm. Where the hell's it gone? This is why I don't use the pliers, it means just fly off. No, because you've got, you, you've got to literally hold it as your cutting room. You can't, can't even see, I didn't even see it go anywhere. What the hell? Do you remember the other day I was telling you about the ping, Michael? Yeah. The, those double-edged cutters will do to your part? Yeah. Uh, whereas the single-edged ones... Where is it? Look, Muzz. Like, Look, Muzz. Much. I got some. You got some single-edged ones? Look. Yeah, brother. Where'd you get off here? They're um, dis display or something. Model tools, craft yeah. tools. I don't understand where that's gone. Yeah, I got they. Uh, I brought these, and they gave me like cleaning oil and lubrication, and a case and a leather pouch to put them in. And wow, what brand was it? Uh, it's DS. Oh, um, spa. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're a very good brand. Well, the, I mean, I'll tell you, they cost me uh, nearly 80 bucks for a pair of nippers. So, yeah. And I saved this bay, but apparently that's not, you save that by staying the letters. Everyone says this bay, though. Yeah, I know. That's all right. But yeah, they're a really good brand, man. Yeah, well, it's what the guy at the Gundam shop sells, and I just went, you know what? I want to get. I want to get some good ones to make my kits look better. I still haven't seen them yet. I'm waiting for me my laptop to refresh. It's frozen on me. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're right in front of me, so they're not going anywhere. No, they're being right. well utilized at the moment. Hey, Vedatron, how's it going, dude? Good hey, to Vedatron. see you, John. Uh, when I was a till work in a gas station, the only holiday I got off was Christmas. Yeah. I heard yeah, the Queen... Jumpy says he's heard the Queen Victoria Market is full of thespians. <laughs> I, have uh... just... I haven't lost my willy, but I've lost something. I have no idea where it's gone, and I'm blaming Michael. And this is going to make... I can't... This is going to make... They're hard now to uh definitely you can't afford to lose a piece of a gundam because every piece is uh essential so god damn it did you hear what i did the other day what did on you cat do? stream what did on you cat do? stream i was building no. a gundam and i'm putting it together and I literally skipped a step so I didn't cut a part off the sprue. And anyway, I made a mistake and I pulled the Gundam apart thinking that I had that part. And all of a sudden, the part was missing. So I'm pulling my room apart, looking to see where, there are, where this part's gone. And it was as big as what I'm holding right now. So it should have been easy to find. Mm. And uh, 
I stopped building on Cat Stream because I couldn't proceed. And um, then I kept on looking for a while. And, well, 45 minutes later, I sat down and I picked up the sprue and I looked at it and I went, oh, you didn't cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, made a right fool of myself, yeah. It might be some, uh, you know, I might be starting to get a bit senile run, given, you know, my age, you know, it could be something might have kicked in already. Happens to us all, Right. Try showing me again, Michael. Oh, yeah, the red one's there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's and uh, the other thing I'm using is one of their. I've got a wider one, but I've got this little uh, narrow glass file too. Yeah, so they're definitely single sided nippers. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got yeah, it's got the cutting blade on this side and the little flat bit sort on of the flat flat bit on the other. Yeah. How do you like them? I love it, mate. I really love it. It's uh, made it's made a big difference with uh, building the Gundams. Um, some of the plastic, unfortunately, because of the coloration uh, color it is, it's hard to get rid of little marks. But generally, I'm finding using those and uh, then the glass file and then a little bit of high grit sandpaper. And then, and then I'm up. using this is the this is a how's this? This is a breaker for you, Muzz. Um I'm using a um nail buffer yeah. a women use and it's got a little sandpaper bit, but I don't use that part, but it's got these two buffing bits. And uh I find after I've cut and I've sanded and everything. I rub this over and then you rub this really quickly at this side. It polishes the plastic back up again. It's so, like yep. yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah, like this is this is literally like sand, a file on a piece of mirror. That's why it's got the reflector. But, yeah. So it's very fragile too. You've got to be careful. You wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to drop it from a great height because I don't think it would survive very long, much. But, uh, yeah. Well, I figured if I'm going to invest all this money into Gundams, I might as well, you know, do it properly. Oh, good. Same with any good tool. Uh, they're worth, good tool's worth its weight in gold. That's right. So but true. As a guy that used to sell tools to people, a hundred percent agree. Yes, da -da 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 -da. that's exactly right. That's the uh, sound from our commercials of uh, the hardware chain I used to work for. That must knows. <laughs> well, that was prior to the beginning. That's it. Yeah. Which is pretty much a rip off of Home Depot, but yeah. Yeah. These uh, dimensions in the house. It says it's the Monkey Lizard Model Building Academy. It's something, Dave. Yeah. It, we, we don't know how. To, we know it. We've got we've got a couple of good model builders, and then there's Rum and me. Yeah. But, yeah. Stop it. I'm not taking your advice with anymore, Michael, because I've just no, cut because... something. Off, I've I've just cut something look. off the sprue, and I've cut look. the bits. I yeah, I've cut the bits off that you need to slot in. <sighs> so I've really buggered this up now. There's two things wrong with this. I'm gonna have to somehow. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Glue it or something. I don't know what I'm gonna you need, do. You need glue. I'm only listening to Darth Muzzer from now on. Get the glue Fair back enough. in. Fair enough. <laughs> don't, anyone out there, don't listen to Michael. Yep. <laughs> Bad advice. 
He's probably he's probably on to he's well, probably on to something. I've listened to Darth to um Michael and I've met, I've got two missing pieces on a Gundam kit and a dose of herpes. As a result. And a dose of herpes. Sorry. Let that be a warning to you all. You building model kits or you've been on a trip to Thailand? <sighs> okay. Let's see. I'm using my fingers from now on. Fair enough. As I said, each to their own. So you can go for it. <laughs> Ghostbusters and Godzilla were awesome, says Roro. Oh, really? Nice. I reckon, yeah, well, from what I've seen in Godzilla and the way that Kat and Spencer were talking about it, kind of piqued my interest a little bit. It seems to be a lot of opinion that there's a bit of... Uh, Monster fighting action in this one might be worth seeing on the big screen. Did you used to get um, an English kids <coughs> art show uh, in the eighties called Heart Attack? No, I'm not familiar with it, but maybe I, yeah, because I was. Is it called Heart I Attack? Was, well, there was Take Heart. Take Heart. It's called Take Heart. Well, there was. I think there was one called Heart Attack, and there's a theory Heart that the guy did that. He's from Banksy, but a bit of a wild theory. I think, theory. I think, really? I think <laughs> we might have had Take Heart. I think it might have been on the ABC, which is this, um, the Australian version of BBC. There was a little used to show a lot of BBC. There's a little segment in there called Morph. Oh, the clay guy. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Morph and Chaz. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, well, that is exactly like him. Jeez, whoever made that did well. Is that made out of clay? <laughs> Is that actually made out of clay rum? <laughs> that is absolutely awesome. How'd you find that? <laughs> Just stumbled on it. <laughs> wow. Impressive. Now, I'm going to show you something else, and you've got to tell me what film it's from. Okay? Okay. Oh, can I do the laugh? Oh, uh, that's... Um... Guns of Navarone. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Flight of the Navigator. <laughs> it's a little guy from Flight of the Navigator. That is awesome, too. Is that also made out of clay? It is. So by clay sitting, sitting down by, with a kiln. By, by clay, but yeah, clay-tivity on, Et, on Etsy. Clay-tivity. Good shout, shout wow. out. That's nice. Nice work. Do, what else do they do? Do they do anything else? Yeah, all sorts, literally. Any, anything you can imagine, they do. Even your uh, your friend? Do they do him? My friend? 
you know your friend. Well, if I say the name, if I say the name, Sheev. If I say, if I say the name, Cat, Cat will never talk to me. Cat will Cat never will... speak to me again. If oh, Mister Blobby. The no, they don't do a Mister Blobby. Yeah. No. Oh. No, no, they don't do Mister Blobby. Probably won't talk to me now anyway for bringing it up. You're quite right, too. <laughs> uh, Chumby says Art Attack was Neil Buchanan. He first yeah. appeared doing an art section on kids TV show number 73. So you check out wow. that theory that he's banks, eh? Is he from Bristol, Neil Buchanan? I don't know. He's a mad theory. Who is Banksy? Some people think it's 3D. He's 3D Dolnaja, who is uh, one of the guys from Massive Attack. Oh, really? He's a he's also yeah. an artist, a graffiti artist. Okay. I remember That's, massive attack. I've taken the wrong things off. I'm pretty sure that I had a few tracks I didn't mind. Very good. got a few albums that are incredible. Yeah. A one and A two. All right, that's it. Blobby, 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 blobby. <laughs> That's never a good thing. So I live where my bungalow is situated. Um, I have a, a laneway behind me, like a public laneway and I just heard people talking in the laneway behind my room because it's like 3 17 in the morning so I was like oh, that's a bit bit weird don't really want you know we used to get kids coming along and doing their own Banksy work if you know what I mean mm. You hear the rattle of spray cans, I get woken up sometimes. So everyone's back fence along the laneway's got a little bit of a Banksy attempt. <laughs> 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 Nothing wrong with a bit of street art, but most of the time they just scribble their, whatever their name is, onto a wall, and it looks quite pathetic, really. Yeah, that's what I do with the cockpit windows. Oh, cool. You whack them out. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Well, they still look like they're windows. Yeah, yeah, could paint the inside so that the plastic is still shiny. That's awesome. Yeah. Just can't be bothered painting a tiny little. There is a yeah, I mean, but why, 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 you know, yeah, that's awesome. I'm going to paint him, he's tiny, my eyesight's not that good. That's why, that's why you got those things on the top of your head there, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that was to read the, uh, that's why I've got a set of those, sir. Just to read the labels <laughs> on the bottle. <laughs> Which one's got the most alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> I'm having that one. Um, Bob, the morph you have, the same company does a rod hole in emu. I was going to get it for you for your parcel. That's how I discovered Mr. Pickle was on Etsy. I didn't see rod hole and emu. I'm going to have to chuck that out. I missed that. that. Emu, that was like a blue, blue emu, wasn't it? Yeah. Was that yeah, blue? Yeah. 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 
What what is it? Like America's got Captain Kangaroo and you guys have got <laughs> like, Warner Brothers Ooh. Warner Brothers how's this? We'll so we've got a new professional football team starting and it's gonna be in Tasmania. And they've decided they're gonna call it the Tassie Devils. They had to actually go to Warner Brothers to get permission to use the word Tassie Devil. And, like, the lawyers also sat down. How's this? Warner Brothers didn't realise it was an actual real animal. <laughs> so so that as soon as they realised that it was an actual or real Australian animal, they were like, yeah, don't worry. But we're, they've sort of made a similar logo to Taz, Taz the Tasmanian yeah. Devil. So... Should be interesting, but yeah, they got the green green light from Warner Brothers. They said, "Oh, it's a real animal. We weren't aware of that." Uh, yeah, you can you can use that name. <laughs> we can't technically use, uh, you know, you pretend we own own the name. You know, if it's actually a real animal in Australia, well, it's just like unbelievable. Okay, Mr. Amazon's just been, and this looks distinctly like a Gundam-sized box. I like the sound of it. <laughs> what else have you got? <laughs> you didn't hear it because I muted my mic, but the bloody Amazon guy just had his finger on the buzzer, just non-stop, wasn't letting it go. It's just oh, going, really? Oh, yeah. I open the door, it's like, oh, right, mate, you can bloody hear you. Because, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, I thought you were upstairs. Like, what difference does that make? <laughs> yeah, don't, like, yeah, exactly. You don't need to hold the buzzer for the hell? minutes, mate. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what kind of physics is well, I don't understand what kind of physics that is. Okay. Wow, this thing looks cool. Okay. I so guess that's is... why he's a courier and not a, uh, in medical school. <laughs> Probably is in medical school. So this was from Amazon, and it's the XXXG01S Shenlong Gundam. Huh? Oh, that's from it. Gundam Wing. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. That's another. That's a. That's yeah, a thing. That, that's an awesome thing. I like it. I haven't actually laid eyes on that one yet, so I uh, look forward to you building it. It seems that um, here's, here's the thing, you know, because Australia is so geographically far away from Japan, but I've been following this Gundam guy, uh, and he's in, he's in Ireland. Um, because he's always talking about how many euros the kit cost him and stuff, yeah. Um, but it seems that he's reviewing kits, and I'm like, Oh, I, w I want that kit. And I go to my Gundam guy, and he's like, Yeah, that doesn't come out to Australia till later this year. And I'm like, Well, I've already I just watched the guy building one in Ireland, <laughs> and you're telling me that we're. We're, we're that far away from Japan that ours don't come till later in the year. It's just, it just doesn't make any sense, man. But anyway, apparently it's a thing. But anyway, at least that way I can watch his reviews on kits and um, pick and choose which ones I want to buy because I know that they're going to be get, coming out in Australia. In, later in the year, but I watched. Uh, I literally watched a review the other day, and I went into the store, and the guy was literally just putting the same kit on the shelf. He said, "Oh, I only got six of these," and I'm like, "Well, now now you've got five, because um, <laughs> I'm taking one before I leave this place." <laughs> A bit awkward, this one. Um, Jumpy says Neil Buchanan had a brummy Midlands accent, accent closer to Palps but more high pitched. 
Um, well, I'm not sure that fits with um, Banksy. I just like uh, to for the record, I am not Neil Buchanan or Banksy. <laughs> <laughs> That'll well, be on I mean, me. That'd, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be uh, that'd Wouldn't be revel. That be cool? Yeah, yeah. That would be really cool. Alps turn oh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years down the track, we find out. Dun, dun, dun. Alps is actually Banksy. <laughs> Revealed live on YouTube. Revealed. Revealed. Smirking says, "Will Palps be holding a senator's party?" With the liquor shelf in the background, <laughs> uh, Jonathan says, Of all the comedians with puppets from back in the day, Rod Emu was my favorite. There you go. Uh, Jumpy says, Jonathan, I found a no I found Nookie Bear strangely entertaining. Nookie Bear, don't know that one. What did the course here? Nookie Bear. We had uh, um, Humphrey B. Bear was one of our Aussie Aussie uh, kids shows. Muzzle oh. would remember. Muzzle oh. would remember Humphrey. I remember Humphrey. I like yeah. the He was Still from Newcastle. Newcastle. He was from Newcastle. Yes, he was. Really? Yep. I like the Does he still get around Newcastle? Or? I haven't seen him in years. He's, the dude that the dude that played him, yeah, was, was a skater. Really? Yeah, we used to hang out back in the day. Oh, he's doing tricks and jumps and. Oh, the one funny thing—he was out of action for a while, and, and like, goes back or what? Fair way. He did an mm -hmm. appearance as Humphrey for a benefit that was on Newcastle Harbour. Yeah. And there's must I think there's a bit of alcohol or additives getting around. Oh, okay. And, and ended up skating around in just the bottom half of the Humphrey suit. Oh no. Um that would have uh yeah. done some serious damage to you little kids at the time. <laughs> and uh at the end of the day, he, um he did a fly and run towards the harbour and try to like dive over like the the wall and there's a bit of a you know rocky bit and then the water so he's dived out over it all but still hit the bottom and crazed up all his chest and his arms and yes yeah, so there was ambulances called and it was big news but no one ended up finding out that it was humphrey Wow. Good old Humphrey. He, he, he was a... Yeah. He was back in the day. <laughs> Message received. <laughs> yeah. You used to participate in some natural herbs, you say. I think I've got flat everywhere. I think I've deadened it all. Look at that. Oh, at that. oh look at that. That's good. Let's put him on the screen. Let's have a look at this. Tell you what, this thing is. Well, when he first built it, I thought it was amazing. Like, I didn't think he needed painting, but now he's yep. painting it all up. Yeah, it's incredible. Oh, so, the, so the wings... I just painted it, but you, can you hear that? But yeah, yeah. That's got a bit of texture to it now, so now so the, oh, I'll go around and just the wings actually modulate work the colours. And the wings actually work on that, do they? They, they, they open yeah. up and... Wow, I've got... I've got the wings on. They're over here. Looks like you can take them back off and oh, that's cool. Jeez. Seriously. Wow. I'll be happy when this one's done. It's starting to break me down. 
but yeah, it's coming up nice. But that yeah, that flat coat just takes the shine out of it all, makes it look a little bit more realistic, and that'll give some texture for the oil paint. So I'll go around with some whites and some greys just to break up that stark greyness, make it look mm -hmm. like each panel's a bit weathered and. Because these things get absolutely tortured on aircraft carriers, sea spray, and all the rest of that. Yeah, so next, paint it up then, yeah, all right. Imagine what it, can you imagine what it's like to try and land on an aircraft carrier? It must be pretty, pretty hairy experience. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because the ship, I mean, the ship would be moving up and down in the water, and you know what I mean. Like, I was watching a program about the new uh, American carrier, um, the what's it called, the brand new one. Ah, oh, well, it's one of the president's names. I can't remember what it's called, but their brand okay. new carrier. Um, okay, and um. They their carriers, American ones, normally use like cable, um uh Eurista cable. Yeah. But this new one it, it's it's got electromagnetic cable system. Um oh, yeah, but, the, yeah. but but the that but when the plane the Yeah, the catapult, but when the planes land, it also it also um catches them as well. Um, yep. But oh, it's the Ford. I think it's called the Ford. But the new, but this new Ford one, the pilots don't do anything to land it. The 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 ship takes control of the. I think for the F thirty fives, it takes control of them, and yeah. and lands them autonomously. <laughs> Unreal. So the pilots just uh, like you know, um, just passenger. Yeah. Whereas for oh, the they... British, for the for the British uh, carriers. We didn't um, opt for the uh, cable system, so the F thirty fives are hovering to land uh, rather than landing. So, um, the... so we can't launch as many sorties per day as they can. Um, oh, right. it, takes, it takes longer to land them uh, vertically than it does for them to just fly in, you know, normally. Uh, and it uses more petrol, so the range. Uh, is less per sortie uh, on the British ones. Well, there isn't aren't the US ones nuclear powered? They are, and ours are not. They nuclear. are they it's are diesel. I think ours nuclear. are diesel. Is it the George Bush? Bush Mr. B says. Okay. George's Bush. George's Bush. Yes. Okay. This will be interesting. Nuclear powered. Wow. Thirteen. On it. Well, yeah. So they probably got a pretty long range. Those things. I think they can go all year, basically. They only have to stop for food. Resupply. Yeah. The, the latest edition of Playboy. <laughs> no. I guess that's not required in this modern day and age, is it? Because everyone's got the internet. No more Playboy. How the hell does that go in? Like that, okay. Well, oh, one of my bits just dropped out. Oh, 
That's happens. what you get when you're sitting in your underpants. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's embarrassing sometimes, especially if you don't know <laughs> you don't notice if someone's in the someone's sat opposite you and you just get a funny yeah. look, you're like, What are you look what are you what are you looking at? What are you laughing at? And they just glance down and you're like, Oh sorry. Apologies. Buzzers <laughs> <laughs> being attacked by snakes. Yeah, no. <laughs> Any problem with that is our snakes don't make a noise much. Be nice. Be nice. It'd be actually be nice if they just held up a sign and said, "Don't stand on me." That'd be nice. I love it when um, you go out. You know, walking through the, as we say in Australia, walking through the bush. And you're walking and along, bush. and you're walking along a track, and you see these, like, lines in the dirt, like like a zigzag, and you just know that that means a snake's gone through the path, because it's from where how it swivels, and it leaves like a a distinctive mark. In the ground, and uh, yeah, you go, you see that, and then you, all of a sudden you look around you just in case you're about to stand on him or her, so to speak. But they don't. Uh, it's not like they chase you. It's not like you know what I mean. Yeah. No, I don't can't see it. I don't can't see it. I mean, it's not like they, they they chase you for a K to get you or something. It's not it's not like a bear or something, <laughs> you know. When I went to chase, Australia, yeah. I was paranoid about going to the toilet. I was always like looking in the toilet. I didn't want one oh, the to, spiders. Like, yeah. To, well, no, I, was, I always thought a snake might like jump out of the toilet. Queensland, I'm, Queensland. That I'm happens. I actually heard a guy on the radio the other day. He, he, there was a guy in. Uh, Queensland that sat down on his loo and he looked down between his legs and he saw these pair of eyes staring at him so he quickly got up and uh, he mentioned that previously he's had frogs in his toilet but it was this big uh, python and basically its head was out of the water just at the surface and its whole body was down the the sewage pipe, so through the S bend of the toilet, down the sewage pipe, and it was there cooling in the water, of course, on a on a hot Queensland day. And it... <laughs> oh, that's right. So yeah, no, I don't, no, I don't think anyone fancies that, but yeah, it's uh, something that I heard that happened the other day. I was like, geez, I'm glad I don't live in Queensland. For a lot of reasons, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Queensland have got poisonous. You can't go into the ocean because they've got lots of bull sharks, which will Queensland. rip you, rip you to shreds. Beautiful they've one, got, Gary. They've the got name. killer. They've got jellyfish that can kill you, and and yeah. you can hardly see them because they're like. I don't know, the size of this. Size of your thumbnail. Yeah, size of this little card here. So you can't, and they're very transparent. So you've got those up there. You've got your uh, saltwater croc also swimming in the same water. And then, of course, you get great whites. You get tiger sharks up there as well. And I think I much prefer my southern waters. I mean, we get great whites, but not like All that. right, all right, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, they're getting big outside here. Yeah, well, where, where Muzzer is, he gets some pretty decent-sized sharks. Just up, up the coast a little bit, Port Stevens. I've seen some absolute behemoths. 
Oh yeah. Um, I saw a picture of a guy once. He'd brought a um, uh, a bronze whale shark in. Oh yeah. And its head would have been eh, about that wide. Yeah, right. see, but they're not they're not oh, but, really uh, aggressive in uh, as much. No, nah, no. Nah. I mean, they're good fun to catch and let go, but they're nice. a big dog basically. You just lead them around and they come in. We but, um, but yeah, my this, brother and I had whale, a, had a set of them. Teeth. His head was about that wide, and in the picture I saw, it was like at the side of a boat. They just got it up to the side of the boat. Yeah. And then it, you pan out from the picture, and there's another set of jaws around that oh bronze pillar. Oh. And they reckon this great white was about the girth of a V-Dub bug. Yep. Oh, my God. Just well, I mean, they, the, the males one. grow, on average, a full-grown great white uh, male. Um they record them on average at about 16, is it 16 foot, something like that? Oh, my God. And the women, uh, females, at about 14. All, um, they do, all they do is eat and make little baby sharks. And then I saw a doco on Shark Week where um, they came across a female that was 20 foot. Oh it was bigger God. than the boat they were in. And they were trying to tag this thing, and this thing just was up on the surface. Um, and they're trying to tag it. I'm like, guys, it's bigger than your boat. It's it's like, what are you trying to do? Aggravate it by sticking a, a tag through its fin with a spear. It's like... Oh, my God. I've seen them they, they, they do they the full-on tag with them, and they bring them into a little pontoon like they... Catch it, bring yeah, it. Yeah, well, I don't think you'd be doing that with a 20 foot female it's like, white. <laughs> it's like that. What, was the, what was the movie with Samuel L. Jackson in it? Oh, Deep Blue Sea. Deep Blue Sea, yeah. yeah. Oh, it was like that, it was, was like that. that wasn't good. Bring the shark up, yeah, play with it for a bit. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what you can do with sharks? You can put them to sleep by rolling them onto their backs. Yeah, it's. Well. Ask it that's, nice. a, that's that's something they teach you at school in Australia, you know, yeah. just to uh, help you out that when you go for a swim in summer down the beach, mm. you know how to put a shark to sleep by rolling it over onto its back. Mm. It's just part of being a kid in Australia, you know. <laughs> Isn't that right, Muzz? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We... we, we we have swimming lessons and then we have uh, learned to roll the shark lessons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that's what some people think about Australia sometimes. Yeah. Well, that's what <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't have to swim faster than the shark. I just got to swim faster than you. That's pretty much <laughs> a good logic. <laughs> Very effective that that method, Muzz. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> because you think swimming faster than your mate, you're right. Yep. I'm sure that the same rule applies in the US when it comes to a bear or yeah, have to run a mountain lion or uh, something like yeah. that. You just got to be able to run faster than your mate. <laughs> G Force is here. He says, "Hey everyone." Uh, G Force. I'll tell you what. Hey G Force. G'day. Mr B says they've had twenty foot of tagged off of Massachusetts. Oh my god. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, there's some big sharks off the coast of the US. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about worry about getting attacked in Australia. Phelps hasn't got any of this in your shelf, have you? And uh, no, good. Yeah, I was going to say if you did, throw it away. <laughs> rough is it? Friggin off. It's terrible. <laughs> what is it? Is it rough? No. Yellowstone bourbon whiskey, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Oh, they've named it, it after the TV show. Or... Oh, it is friggin. Do you reckon? Horrible. Do you reckon they called it Yellowstone because of the TV series? 
It's very harsh. Mr. B says, Mako shark tastes like swordfish. And Smirking yep. says, Gator tastes like greasy duck. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Smirking says, The only bear I'm scared of are mother bears and grizzlies. The black bears are harmless for the most part. I'm really? not going near any bear. I was going to say, I, I don't think I'd literally like roll in the glass and cuddle one. Um, <laughs> I don't care what color it is. Oh, duh. <laughs> I used to love that. Uh, the old, uh, what was the show called? Grizzly Adams. That was a fun 70s show. A guy was, living with his no. bear in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, crazy. Well, I think the real aren't the real the scariest bears in the world the polar bears aren't they the, the well yeah because they they have to eat they, biggest yeah oh yeah Jesus they ain't messing around are they have you seen like you can go on those like tour buses and the tour bus tires are like fifteen foot in the air. And then they go out and the people are sitting, it's like they're sitting on the top level of a double-decker bus, if you know what I mean. And then the bears literally stand up and looking through the window. <laughs> it's like, fuck getting out of this thing. <laughs> if, if this thing gets a flat, I ain't changing it. <laughs> oh, man. I couldn't hey, think of anything. Oh, that's a lot of parts. But they're all done. Wow. So she'll be getting close next week. I've still got to do a lot of work inside the cockpit. He's, a, he's already calling. I'll be doing this still next week. <laughs> if, yeah, if, well, if I get some time in the middle of the week. That's still, got the rest of the, still got the rest of the long weekend, yeah. Yeah, you I know. This week, obviously, after Easter, being uh, a shorter week, it's either uh, going to be hectic or it's going to be relaxed. I've, I've decided. Well, I actually week. went into work today because oh, all our all our job orders come through a computer, and it comes out like on a like a printed label kind of thing, and. Um, Someone had to go to the factory to make sure that there was enough paper in the printer and stuff. Well, I I saw how much work came through Thursday night and all day yesterday, this morning, and uh, I'll let you know right now. I'm going to be having a busy week next week. <laughs> and I haven't mentioned it to any of the other guys because uh, I want them to enjoy their... Uh... <laughs> They're the rest uh, of their uh, Easter. <laughs> they can come in, and, yeah, come, come in and Monday discover, afternoon. come in and discover it on Tuesday, and go, what the yeah. France has happened here over the weekend? Spoil, spoil it on Monday, uh, yeah, Monday afternoon. No, I think I'll know by place. then. No, we'll have from one turn up. But... Oh, uh, Monday. Yeah, you know, you're right. If anyone turns up on Monday, you, you, you're you doing pretty bad, aren't you? Yeah, so anyway, I mean, the bonus about me going to work for four hours this morning is that um, I think the boss is going to be paying me double time. So four hours work, a day's pay. I like it. Yay. Just to get paid. Well, you know, more money, more Gundams. <laughs> yes. Yep. I've got this. I've got my eye on this kit, and uh, it's uh, it's this. It's HG, so it's one forty four scale, but it's basically a Gundam inside another suit so the gundam is the pilot 
of this suit. So you can imagine that it's a massive, massive, massive kit. Yeah, and um, it's uh, it's I think it's like around a hundred and thirty bucks for the kit. So wow. But um, I'm thinking about getting that in the next few weeks because um, once I've got my little setup and I can display it straight away, I think it'll be a cool piece to have. And I think also it'll take a while to build because you're literally building the Gundam as well as the uh, the massive Gundam, so to speak. So, yeah. And this other one I brought, that's that's going to have a lot of sprues. Well, they normally average about four or five sprues, maybe six if you've got a, a couple of coloured sprues with weapons. But I'm tipping that one's got at least 12 sprues in it, so... For one 44th scale Gundam, it's going to be a big suit, I think. I kind of, I kind of was thinking of starting it today, actually tonight, but I thought, no, nah, that's a lot of sprues and stuff to have spread out in the middle of the night, like we it is here now. So, yeah. That's what worries me about starting that Millennium Falcon. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, but at least but, you've got a devoted room. You know what I mean? Like, at oh, least okay. you can you can shut a door, yeah, I'm imagining, and, and not worry about it and let it dry and all that sort of stuff. And... I, sh- I did this the other night. I showed off this to um, Rex. So you're showing off his work work area. Yeah. Which oh, is Rex the... is well set up, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> So I'm much the same. Yeah. That's my lounge room in there. Yeah. And over there's my kitchen. Oh, okay. So, so you've I'm... got a, a kitchen slash uh, model making room. Yeah, this is the dining room. Oh, okay. I've got to get rid of Sit out of this thing. My you kitchen. don't do a lot of entertaining, Three... is that what you're saying? <laughs> I've got to try and get rid of this thing massive glass cabinet and it's absolutely useless unless you, you, can, it, unless, it. Unless you want to display a mannequin or something I think you should pull it full of Gundam there's no shelves it's just one big empty space you, you're a carpenter aren't you you could rustle up some yeah. shelves and feel... it's really big and heavy and it's in the way of where I want to put the other cabinet <clears throat> find a good I might turn it into a shower I was thinking if I put a fan in the bottom and put a heap of money in it. <laughs> and yeah, that's not going to happen. Get chicks around here, smother them in honey. And... Uh, no, boys, I, I, I know we've done two hours, but I'm um, and please do not feel as though you have to stay on because I, oh, I, I know it's I know it's I know it's early. <laughs> I know I'm sending the I know early, but I'm staying on today, so I'm gonna do a bit of a longer one. So you people are you're welcome to stay or go as you see fit. So so don't worry about that, Doc. If you want to, sure it's like crazy in the morning, so. Um, Oh, yeah. it's nearly nearly four a.m. But I'm oh, I'm sticking it out. I'm I'm holiday. having a good time. I've technically officially been up twenty four hours, but I will <laughs> confess that I did. I think nap for an hour. So, uh, but yeah, time wise, I I was up this time yesterday morning, going to work. <laughs> four a.m. Which one's that? It's got to be that. That's that. A30. 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 Uh, yeah, I've got nothing to do today, so I'm having a nice... This is a nice relaxing day for me, just doing this. No, so you're enough. off for two. Are you uh? Are you off for two weeks, Ron? Certainly am. That's is that, 
Is that Lucky. school school holidays or something for you guys, or or are you uh, just having leave yourself? Let's just say I'm off for two weeks. Okay. Let's just say I'm okay. off for two weeks. And sweet. Uh, sweet. Yeah. So um, tomorrow though, there's no Lego <laughs> studs tomorrow. No Lego studs tomorrow though, because I'm actually going to Earth Mums for Sunday roast. So nice. Sunday roast. Sunday roast. All the trimmings. Good old, good All old Earth Mums. God bless her. Yeah, yeah. She came right. She came round yesterday specifically to ask, "What would you like? What do you want for Sunday roast?" So, oh really? Yep. Oh, that's nice. So we're having we're having a lamb. She's making lamb tomorrow. Thirty. All right. Oh, that's the piece I'm missing. Damn it. That's gonna be a problem. There's a problem. That could potentially be a problem. We don't like problems. We don't like problems. No, problems problems don't work for us. Let's, no. let's not have no, problems. <laughs> that doesn't look right anyway. A12. A12 and A18. Doesn't look right. A12 and A18. Doesn't look right. Uh, Bob, how clean is your flat? Yeah, she does. She stopped, but she came around yesterday. And oh, uh, and she insisted whilst I was there on tidying up everything. And yeah, she, she does. Uh, I think mums do that, don't they? You know? So yes, and my fridge is full as well. Oh, bonus. Yeah. <laughs> God bless her, Mum. Yeah. You know what? Is she trying to get you to cook for yourself? Is she? I think she's given up on that. So. Yeah, but she keeps putting food in the fridge. Aren't yeah. <laughs> My mum did that oh. this day. Here you go. Gives you a nice care package to take home with you. You see, I don't chicken I, nuggets because I, I, I live behind Mum. I, you know, I don't get a lot of that kind of special treatment but my um brother she buys she makes stuff for him to take home and yeah i mean you know that's all right love your mums that's it love your mums well that's a 12 18, so that's going to be that one. A12. Do um, you guys in the UK, do you, is a uh, hot cross buns a big thing? Oh, Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. just reminded me. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, oh just, 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 yeah. I mean, I like, I love eating them right through the whole of Easter. Mm-hmm. And then, you know what I hate, but I don't know if it happens in where you guys are, but Muzzle can testify because it would happen where he is too. No sooner um, do the Christmas stuff gets packed away, our grocery stores start pulling out Easter eggs. Oh, yeah. And hot cross buns yeah. in January. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, and I, I just like, I refuse to buy into it. Like to me, not that I'm super religious or anything, or but like I, I always thought, you know, hot cross buns should just be for Easter. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I've, I choose not to buy them in January. I wait until it's officially Easter, and then I have a what do you call a a bit of a pig out on them. For a couple of days, and then uh, I look forward to next April when I've finally lost the weight and I can put it back on again. <laughs> you might find this sacrilege, I don't know, but 
you know McDonald's apple pies? Yeah. Their their apple pie at the moment is hot cross bun flavour. You kidding? Yeah. No. Wow. Do they do the hot cross thing in the US? Anyone in the chat? Let us know. Or is that just a an English slash Commonwealth thing? I think Muzz is whipping up a hot cross bun right yeah, now. Yeah, is. Something's going on in the microwave anyway. Yeah, he's heated one up. He's getting the butter out. Nice melted but Jeez, my mouth's starting to water thinking about yeah, it. Talking. <laughs> you kept on talking about him. <laughs> well, go on. Show us then. He just wiped one out. Go on. What have you got? Go right. on, show us, show us, show us. Come on. Show us. Come on. Oh, he's got his Grogu yeah. plate as well. Yeah, he has. What Come on. Come, Come on, on. show us the hot cross bar. What have you got? What have you got? Oh, look at that. Oh, oh yeah. That. Oh, oh, yeah. But, uh, oh. Oh. oh, I think oh. I know what I'm having for breakfast. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. one of them. Somebody turned into a Homer Simpson convention. That's a fair call, Pelps. <laughs> it did sound a bit like that. <laughs> uh, what do we got? No, any... Anyone... Uh, it's nice. Hot cross buns, oh, hot cross buns, yeah. hot cross buns. Yeah, yeah. Mr. B, hot cross buns. Um, so do, oh, do Pete's dribbling, Pete's dribbling. Oh, they do Pete's have dribbling. hot cross buns. G4 said in the States. There you go. Yeah. All right, then we can travel to America, guys. In Easter, we're safe. Yeah, they got hot cross buns. <laughs> We won't miss out if we go to the US in Easter. Eighteen. Where the hell is A12? How's this? Mum goes, do you want to try one of my hot cross buns? I'm like, what's the difference? They're all pretty much like a fruit bun with a weird cross on the top. Yeah. And uh, she's like, uh, I think I got two packets from the grocery store for, I got a dozen for $6. My mother got half a dozen for twenty one dollars from some exclusive bakery. Oh, but I bet you yours aren't as nice as mine. Oh, for twenty for twenty dollars, I reckon they'd have to be pretty special. I had chocolate ones earlier. They're all gone. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really into the chocolate ones. Did you see that? And for some reason, they disappeared. So they, they experimented, but they um, – Coles brought out a Vegemite and cheese version. What? Yeah. Because yeah. Vegemite and cheese is like a big, big thing in Australia. Well, first of but... all, first of all, let's just get a few things right, yeah. All right, here we go. Marmite. Okay. Well, I'll go on a minute. I'm on a minute. First of <laughs> here all, we go. first of all, the penguin came before the Tim Tam. All right. And Marmite definitely came before the Vegemite. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think Vegemite so tastes just, better. Just, just, just establish that, first of all. I think Vegemite tastes better than Marmite. Although well, I think Vegemite's got a bit more of a a sting to it, a bit of a... I couldn't really salty. taste the difference, if I'm honest. Really? No. Oh, well, there you go. Now, you also have a fake Worcestershire sauce, I think. I can't remember what it's called. Us. Yeah. Uh, what was it called? In, in, in what regard is it fake? What, the ingredients or something? It was just a, a, knock can, off. a knockoff one. Oh, they have okay. a knockoff one. They, they actually have a knockoff one in Yorkshire. I didn't realise until I went up to uni there. They have Henderson's Relish, which is basically Worcestershire sauce. Oh, okay. They have that in Yorkshire. Oh, what's the one that is popular here? I'll have to look it up. Or oh, Google it. Because there is one 
particular one I'm thinking of that my yeah. family always my family always had too. Um, I, I remember seeing one in or the, I get, getting into an argument with an Aussie bloke about it. There's, yeah. there's three things that are hard to say in life. There's, yeah. I was wrong. I was sorry. And Worcestershire sauce. There you go, Liam Perrins. That's the Ritz, That's the proper stuff. W- w- Worcestershire. Okay. That the, the the Liam Perrins factory is arms throw length for me. Instant. Well, well, I reckon one of the biggest popular ones here is Holbrooks. Mm. Right, get out. Right, just get out. Yeah. Seriously, uh, that's. Off, get out. You yeah. you know that you seriously, know that one most yeah the, the red label that. Holbrooks we're not having yeah that. Holbrooks that's what, is that's one of the do you get yeah. into your do you get in your lamb's frying bacon oh. do you get lamb's frying lamb's frying bacon we've wished, lamb's we've, frying bacon Ooh. oh we've we've wished this to you we've wished this oh, put, put, put that on Gravy. everything mate Just put that on everything. Great on cheese on toast as well. What's the shit sauce? Really? Never done oh, that. Mate. Oh, come on. Pre grilled as well. Whack it on yeah. so that it, it absorbs in the cheese. You're kidding me. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, go... yeah. yeah. Mars, you're in your kitchen. Can you just go and whip one of those up while you're there? Yeah. What am I getting? Uh, you, you, you're doing a grilled cheese and then you put Worcestershire sauce. Oh, yes. oh yes. Really? I'd never yeah. heard of this. You know oh, about yeah. it too. Damn. I've, yeah, see, I've lived a sheltered see, I, life, I, I haven't had a, I? I had an English grandmother. Ah. Uh, okay. Special uh, lady. Yeah, Special yeah and lady. very... And all the, all the weird stuff as well. She got into a sheep's brains and a tripe and stuff and but yeah you know, lamb's frying bacon was one of my favorites wow basically liver liver and bacon and in fried onion and into a lovely sort of you make a make the gravy in the pan at the end of it we're probably making everyone in the stream hungry um what about um what about uh, one oh. of the other things i love from the uk is uh like it out. Uh, uh, no, nah, black pudding. Oh, oh, I love black pudding. Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I love, love black pudding. pudding. Yeah. I love I love cutting it up into like uh, thick slices and uh, dipping it into tomato sauce. It's beautiful. Yeah. The old right. blood sausage. Just fried up in the in the mix. Yeah, fried fried. It's breakfast. nice too. Yeah. Yeah. I had this um. Right. Oh, I was. I went to. Uh, I think it was a like a pub, and we had. They had like a breakfast, like mixed grill. And um, yeah, they put. Um, they had black pudding on the plate. All right English, up. yeah, all English. And it had sausage and egg and bacon and mm-hmm. oh mate, yes sir, was, yes sir. Mate, yeah. I wish I could go to that place right now. Do you live in mushrooms or olives? Oh. Poor bloke, Rolanda. <laughs> mushrooms. I never ate mushrooms as a kid, but I can't get enough of them now. I love and, mushrooms. Uh, yeah. I make a nice mushroom. Um, oh, it's like a, like a, yeah, like a uh, stroganoff, but with mushrooms. And, yeah. And, um, Winter time's coming on. I'm going to be making all this sort of stuff. My mum used to make this beautiful sausage, like sausage uh, casserole. She used to, uh, I remember, she used to boil the sausage and then she'd put it in with the sauce and the other ingredients. Yeah, or, and then you'd go into like a, into the oven and cook up. Mate, I loved it. Delicious. See, mum, as I said, mum doesn't do stuff like that for me anymore. But she's like, no, oh, can't be bothered cooking just for you and me. So all those cool meals that I loved growing up, she rarely makes anymore. 
That's right, Jumpy. Put the Worcester sauce on the cheese before grilling. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. Okay. I see how that works. Nice. All right. I'm going to have to give that a go. But hey, apparently giraffe. I can't. Apparently I can't because since I've only got Holbrooks to choose from, and you've now told me that it's not a real Worcestershire sauce. It's not. It's not. It's not. Not not acceptable, really. To be honest, it's funny. It's it is. It's been uh, probably one of the leading brands here for decades. Yeah, we've just got the real stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Trumpy says he made a sausage roll. He pushed it down oh, the hill. Oh, oh. Love a sausage roll. Zero weight, ladies and gentlemen. We loving sausage roll, mate. Loving that. Sounds good to me, Jumpy. So I don't know whether to put these parts on yet or not. Oh, God, I'm in a bit of bother now. I'm in a bit of bother now. Well, Muzz, these. if you're not sure, just Gundams. show it to Rum. Because... Uh, he he he, like myself, could give you some expert opinion regarding whether you should place those items onto your model yet. Isn't that right, Rum? Exactly right. We're happy to help. You know, always like, there, always willing, always, always able. got the advice. Happy Don't to well. help. Don't know about yeah. able, but available. Well. Available, and if not able. I was going to say, and, and willing. <laughs> Always willing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, that's right. I put them on first. I had to put the doodads on that. See, if you weren't too embarrassed to ask, you, we could have told you that. It kind of, it kind of was obvious to me and Rum, but we just didn't want to. <laughs> nah. <laughs> make you up. make you look foolish in front of everyone on YouTube. Leave them on. <laughs> yeah, we'll put, oh, there it goes. put them on. Yeah, and they can stay off. What are we doing? Are they? So um, I I totally spaced out and forgot about it, but we've got this. Uh, it's like a Comic Con. It's called uh, Supernova, and that's here next weekend, and I, like, mm. completely forgot about it. Anyway, I jumped on to see uh, what guests they've got, you know, who's signing autographs. And um, uh, Mr. Uh, Tamo Morrison himself, Mr. Boba Fett, is going to be oh. signing autographs. How much is so, he? I'm uh, thinking now I might have to get myself a ticket during the week. and uh, But here's the thing. Like, I don't know what you guys pay overseas for an autograph, but um, I think I paid a total of $140 to get a photo with... Um, wow. Uh, with Emily, uh, you know, the armourer from The Mandalorian. And Emily Swallow. Yeah, Emily Swallow, thank you. And um, he's charging 120 for an autograph and 160 for a photo. So Whoa. I'm thinking, I don't know if I, oh no, sorry, it could be a little bit, I think I worked it out. It was around 260 and altogether, sorry. So maybe I misquoted one of the prices. But still, I was like, do I really want to spend? Two hundred and sixty dollars to get an autograph and a photo with this guy. So, right. I'm thinking I might do the the autograph thing. Um, but yeah, I mean that's probably enough anyway. Yeah, always well, feels like they're double it. double dipping, doesn't it? By charging two, twice, like yeah. I mean, like you, you at least have a, a package deal, maybe. Um, for those that want to do both, perhaps you know what I mean. Make it <coughs> I a little pay that bit much. cheaper or something. But 
I, I no, pay that but I, I don't know what people pay. What what I mean, like, what would they pay in the US to meet him and get an autograph and a photo? Like, I oh, think don't, they get pay... don't get yeah. me wrong. Don't get me wrong. The prices are equally as bad everywhere, but yeah, I just wouldn't do it. I I, I don't I don't mind um paying like thirty quid to have a an autograph or a photo of one of the you know the, the minor. Yeah. Um, like I, I had a photo and an autograph from, is it Donald Glover, the um, oh yeah, Star Wars, uh, Indiana Jones and in Star Wars. Um, uh, he was at Echo Base last year. It was like twenty quid or thirty quid. I was like, oh, that's fine. Get a nice photograph, yeah. but but yeah, yeah, but when like I don't know, three hundred quid or something from Mark. I don't know. It feels a little bit. It was, it, was a, it was a little while ago that uh, one of the online uh, collectible stores he was selling autographed Black Series of, of Tomorrow. Yeah, um, I was um, thinking maybe that's what I was doing. 350 dollars they were charging. Yeah. For an order, and same with Emily as well. I think the hers were three fifty as well. Or might have been three hundred. See, so I, I do have. I do have some Boba Fett figures still sealed in the box that I could probably get him to sign, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do that. But I mean, oh, yeah, it's just it's just a bit over the top. The amount it was a bit exploitative, did not it? But we're good to get the figures signed or a photo. I mean, for sure. Yeah, I think I might yeah. do the photo thing if I end up going. Um, the other thing is, I might have left it too late, and he might have already been booked out. So, I haven't, you know. He'll take, booked... he'll take your money. Don't you worry. Well, you yeah, know, but they also have like a because he's doing photos as well. He'll probably, I don't know. Like I remember Emily, she had a couple of sessions where she did the autographs for a while and then she got up and did the photos in the photo area and then she went back to autograph after a break you know like i, I mean i suppose he probably could do be doing the same thing i I'm not sure i guess but yeah but yeah i know i i liked meeting her she was she was a bit of a sweetheart she was nice uh, Jonathan says the only person I ever asked an autograph for was Terry Pratchett. He signed about twenty books for me for a cup of tea. Wow. That was good. <laughs> wow. Uh, what did Cat say? She Hayden's was over two hundred dollars for his signature. Yeah, well, there you go. See, GeForce recommends. He... Yeah. GeForce recommends to Cat if she if she flashes if she just flashed him, she might get a freebie. If you, wanna flash, if you want to flash, you want to flash. If you want to flash, uh, Michael or myself, um, we'll quite happily give you a, a freebie. Yeah, that's fine. No problem. I oh, know, doghouse. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't even have to. See her type it in. <laughs> it's yeah, like not. I'm already walking the worn track across the yard. <laughs> Slacious doesn't get sent to the doghouse. Have you noticed that? Oh, uh, I think he does. I don't know. I, 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 I believe so. she's actually expressed that you've got like your a, a whole separate doghouse away from oh. all of us. Yeah, because apparently you're a bad influence. What? <laughs> uh, yeah. Who influences who here? I'm not sure that's right. I'm not sure that's right. Uh, perhaps not, but <laughs> not sure that's right. Oh, we got an LOL out of us, so. I don't know if that's for the doghouse or your comments. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, listen to the lovely Four. birds chirping. Yeah. Is that at your house, Muzz? No. I was going to say, it's a bit early for the birds to be up. Isn't it? it won't be long. I oh, know, I've heard them. Remember we were streaming and uh, you had them chirping once before. Yeah, you can probably hear them at mine. Ah, uh, your place. Okay. Yeah, I got the door open because I'm getting high on paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Um, that's Me. probably uh, probably a good idea then. A bit of ventilation. <laughs> yeah. Have you uh, not, had to, a, not to mention own... the bars behind you? <laughs> Might be another reason to pass out. <laughs> you had a go of your airbrush yet, Pat? Uh, not yet. No, I'm gonna I'll practice a bit before. I'll, I'll probably use it more on the Falcon than anything. Yeah, nice. Uh, I've got to find something to practice on first. Don't yeah, you love it, Ron? Stuff, uh... He's going to practice. He'll probably create like a an epic drawing the first time he uses yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Rum, Rum, you've never left the doghouse and have been separated from everyone else. You're in your own doghouse. <laughs> what the hell? I told you, she's got oh, a whole dedicated sip. Oh. Oh. oh, no, Jumpy, the clocks go forward tonight, do they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what does oh, that mean, wow. then? Uh, one you o'clock lose, is you, two. You lose an hour. One o'clock yeah. becomes two. Yay. We'll lose an hour's rain. So we're going to have to... Yours goes, yours goes forward, and mother of mine comes back. Yeah, so we'll pro we'll end up back at twelve o'clock start again. Yeah, yeah, instead of middle of the morning. Ah, so next week, yeah, when we do next week's show, it'll be like a one o'clock start here rather than a two o'clock. Yeah, and and then at and then the two o'clock it, it'll become one o'clock. Yeah, the week after it'll be twelve o'clock. No, start. isn't it next weekend? Daylight savings finished. Yeah, yeah, but but it'll be on this. It'll be well, as while we, we're streaming, it'll be it'll as, as we're the streamed, clock will change yeah. as we stream with rum if we're doing the same thing next week. Yeah. Back the way it was when we started. Yeah. But is it has it been we haven't been doing this for a year, just for six months, haven't we? Yeah, I reckon about six months on and off. What do you reckon, Rum? How long have we been doing the stream since it's um, your channel? I have no idea, mate. I've absolutely... Yeah. I don't know. I'll have a look on the playlist in a minute. I'll have... it'll be, it'll oh, be it's it, no big deal, mate. It was just... Uh, be 20 yeah. odd streams. Yeah, we, we've done a few streams. On oh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Good times. Yes, lots of laughs. Lots of guests. Uh, let's have a look at the playlist. Find the playlist. Uh, let's click on uh... oh, oh, that'll say how many videos, yeah? Oh, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. So, Top Gun Model School. Uh, Uh, we started eight months ago. Eight months? Eight yeah. months ago, yeah. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that sounds about right. Eight, nine, ten. Eight, 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 eight. Awesome. About 35 or 36 uh, episodes. So. Wow. Mm. People keep on watching us. There's a few crazies out there, aren't there? Crazies out there. But I was looking, because I was we're highly the average, educational. The average views, I think, are around the 150 to 200 mark. 
Wow. I don't get massive views on my channel. I don't think YouTube likes my channel. They, ne they never promote anything. Um, never Actually, really that I, probably because I'm subscribed to you, but uh, one day last week when you were playing the video game, mm. I got onto my home screen and your video was the first video in the corner. I oh. hadn't clicked. I hadn't collect, clicked on the um, my subscriber part yet. Um, so I was impressed. I was like, oh, there's rum there. Oh, the main take screen. It back. Take it back, so man. I have I have actually seen you come up definitely on my YouTube uh, on just the normal screen with everyone else. Oh, I'll take it back, YouTube. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah. they're doing it in Australia at least. Mm. We had a few on last week, though. Was... Who watched? Wasn't it something like 70 people, 70-odd 70 people there last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I stream, it's multi-streaming, so um, it goes It goes uh, to, yep. I, I, it goes to three locations. It goes to Twitch, um, which isn't great. There's one person on Twitch at the moment. It goes to YouTube, and it goes Good to on Twitch, yeah. G'day, Twitcher. Um, yeah, yeah, but X, I, I got over ten thousand. I got ten thousand followers on Twitter. Somehow, I don't really know how. Um, and I always get more views there than anywhere else. So there's twenty five people right now on Twitter watching. Um, wow. Yeah. G'day to the Twitter people. Hello to everyone on Twitter. Hello yeah. on Twitter. Yeah. The tweets. Uh, you can actually leave comments, but I don't think people know that you can do that. Oh, PJ Roby's over on Twitch. Hey, PJ Roby. Hey, PJ. Hey, good day, PJ. Smirkin says, I usually get your videos on my feed also. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. go. Oh, I stand corrected. Yeah. Uh, Rainbow Void, welcome. He says, whenever you're live, I get a notification. When I open yeah. the YouTube app, if you're live, it's the first video. Okay, I'm totally wrong then. Uh, fair play to Google. I think uh, I think YouTube love you a little bit more than you thought. There we go then. I've got the focus on him. Although I'd imagine that Great. it would be uh, uh, boundary lines would be tested occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until fingered with rum comes on. <laughs> Where you going? Hey, you going to... that, that 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 might could revolutionise YouTube, mate. It might be biggest thing ever. <laughs> Google's been waiting for all this time. The algorithm might just break break everything down. It might be huge. Oh, someone's got the Ooh. shake. Oh. Maybe Muzz, maybe Muzz's Banksy. He's got his spray can. <laughs> a bloody paint. You got your stencils there, or what's going mm. on? Oh, Bow does as well. Thank you, Bow. That's good to know. Hey, Bow. That's pretty. That's a bit bright. That's cool. It's a bit bright. I don't want that. Gun metal. That's a bit dull. I mean, how can you not love a little monkey lizard? I mean, exactly, exactly. Like seriously, no. I know you get you get a little bit cheeky at times, but it's what? all in good. It's all in good fun. What? <laughs> cheeky? What? Well, I think we. I mean, I know I'm guilty of pushing a few boundaries, but <laughs> what you never. Uh, <laughs> never <laughs> like a little angel boy never push boundaries <laughs> I, love, I love Bertrand <sighs> Bertrand the thing the monster Chip Ganassi. 
Hello there. Chip Gassy. Everyone Twitch. Ethan Neeson, welcome. Hashtag monkey lizards are for spit roasting. Oh. Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> you need to be careful, Ethan. You'll you look, you'll you say that, and then one day you'll be sat watching TV, you'll hear some weird giggly voices coming from outside. And you'll open yeah, in the... your tree, in a tree yeah. outside your yeah. house, yes. You open your curtains and there'll be a monkey lizard peeing on your lawn. A whole, a whole like... bunch of them, like, yeah. like the tree, like in Book of Boba Fett, yeah. This is what, this is what happens. Mando. Yeah. This is what happens. Monkey lizard. This is what they do. Mark their territory, so to speak. You certainly do. Twelve. So um, you still got that um? Because I don't get to watch um all of your interviews. I'm afraid live because I'm at work. Um, you still doing the monkey poo thing? <laughs> no, no. I stopped doing no. super chats. I stopped doing oh, super did. chats because, okay. well, okay. people would love them, but yeah, oh, you know, well, people were like like putting money down for super one, chat. One and... person loved monkey poo more than any. Yeah, else. yeah. <laughs> so the the thing is, right, yeah. with um with YouTube, yeah. um, like my channel was is monetized, but I don't actually yeah. make any money. And um, from advertising, because the view count's not good enough. And you only make money once you've accumulated £60. Otherwise, 100% of it goes to Google. So oh, really? I, I had Super Chats turned on. but yeah. And people were, give, people were put, like, really nice, like, giving, like, putting two or three quid down, but five quid, you know, actually putting real money down. Yeah. For video yeah. for videos, which is really really sweet. But every month I was getting like fifty quid, forty quid's worth of super chats. Yeah. So basically, people were just paying Google for me to play a super chat videos. There was a few mm. months where it went over sixty, but um, but so I wasn't getting any money. Google were getting money, and people were paying for that. And I just felt bad. I just thought. Like, just didn't feel really right, so I've stopped. Right. I've stopped advertising the super chats now because I don't want people putting money down for um, yeah. just pay, just to give money to Google, basically. Like you know, and I, I don't I, I don't want people's cash. You know, I'm not in this to make money. It's supposed to be a bit of fun, so it uh, it was fun. I, the super chats are fun. I maybe I might bring them back in a different way. Like I don't know if people. Um, for some other, for, for something else, like uh, I don't know, like you've got a, you've got a hashtag something in Twitter or something, and then I'll play a video or something like that. You know, that's non-monetary. Um, yeah. Um, that's although the idea. super the super chats are good if you're maybe doing like um, um, a charity stream or something like that. You know, um, where you can. With your yeah. raising money, but I'm not gonna. I, 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 it, Again, right? They still take their share out of that too. Right? Yeah, they do. Say, they probably, do. Charity yeah. streams are probably better off just just going straight to go fund. Yeah, yeah, exactly. or PayPal or something. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't advertise that anymore, to be honest. Um, and uh, no, I don't do Patreon either. I didn't. I don't. Well, I don't really like what. I, I don't really want people's money. I, I work full time. I've got a very good job. I get very well paid. I, I, I don't need people's money at all. So it's not really, I'm not, that's not why I do it. It's a hobby. It's my hobby, yeah. basically. You know? It brings you um, joy. Yeah. And um, and the stuff I buy, like I buy <laughs> anyway, you know, I'll buy, you know. Um, the one thing I have done is I've put, a, I, I bought a PO box. So if people want to send stuff, then. Then that's fine, like you know. But I don't. Um, I'm. I'm not going to ask for money for people. It's, 
it's not like I'm producing professional content. You know, yeah. come on. Jesus. It's the least professional channel uh, <laughs> on bloody YouTube. Uh, you know? I don't know about so, that. Uh, so. I reckon there'd be a lot of our others out there that are a bit of a shamble, but yeah. Uh, oh, that's fair enough. I mean, at the end of the day, you're basically saying that you get pleasure from other people's leisure. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor film is that? From? Oh my god. That's one of my favourite job interviews of all nice. time. That one. Yeah. That's cold. Here you go. Nope, we've got a dog. We've got a dog. We've got a dog. <laughs> we have it. Uh... We have. Look at him. Look at him. He's a good boy. Oh, look at that. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> oh, oh, come oh. on. Oh. <laughs> oh, the the door. You've started him it's, off now. It's Uber Eats. Uber Eats has arrived with Palps' dinner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't bark at the don't bark at the delivery guy. He's bringing you food, dog. Yeah, he's had his food. He. Uh, I just fed him. Hey, mate, they all eat their own food, but. The, the the one goal of the day is how much food they can get extra out of you. Isn't that the dog's life? Isn't that what a dog does? You would happily <laughs> beg at the table for my food, even though it's just only <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was around at a friend's place earlier and I, I took she just she just got herself a dog and it's a bull mastiff cross ridgeback. <laughs> Oh, oh yes, yes. I remember you having Here's to go old. there last week for dinner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's like forty-five kilo. He's a he's a big boy. I took him around this bone today, and it's one of those. It's like a foot and a half long with the knuckles on either end. Oh yeah. And he's just and he's just looked at me and gone, "What the hell is that?" Put it yeah. in his mouth, he, and he's and he's looking at us like, "So what am I supposed to do with this?" Yeah. yeah. Took him a couple of minutes, but then he wouldn't let it go. Yeah. Oh, man, it. that's cool. Uh, yeah, I miss, having, I miss having a dog, I must admit. Vern's asking if that's an F-14. It is. It, it, it is, Vern. It's an F-14D. I'll put, put it on screen so you can see it. F-14. Um, Let's give him the... good old Vern. How you going? Uh, broken it. As I yearn, as I yawn at at, at, at four thirty eight in the morning. <laughs> I'll just just finish the a little bit of ordnance underneath. Uh, you got to make sure your ordnance is sorted. Don't ordinance. forget about your ordnance, whatever you do. No, yeah. mate, you've got to always. It's make sure. uh. You know, you got to make sure you got plenty of though. <laughs> freedom cream. Yeah. <laughs> freedom cream, yeah. Well, that cool. video John did was classic. Just all the little bits of hell divers. The oh, only thing he cream. missed, the only thing he missed from the video is when, yeah. is when uh, Chip gave me a blowjob down by the beach. Oh. <laughs> well, he's on YouTube. <laughs> I left that out. It's the only thing you missed. Uh, is that when the stream stream sort went from one tube to the other? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. That's everything on the bottom. That's right. I won't, I won't put them on there yet. <laughs> or whether they're on it. separately. Otherwise, it's just going to get in the way. It's nothing worse. You put everything on, then you start weathering, and bits start falling off everywhere. Yeah, you don't want to. You don't want your bits falling off. 
No. 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 It's definitely not. That's not a thing you want really ever, really, is uh, bits coming off. Yeah, still got to use them. I mean, you know, at some at some stage of your life, you probably wouldn't care, but... <laughs> well, at some stage in your life, you don't really have a choice, do you? No. <laughs> Things be just shutting down on a man. <laughs> it's been up about it. <laughs> yeah, by Axel Foley from Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> I love it when he goes into the um Yeah, yeah, I, I got herpes simplex B. Yeah. <laughs> and I think he should go get himself checked before bits be falling up. <laughs> I love it how would he ask for the guy, you know, Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Perhaps you should go and tell him yourself, sir. I think that would be best. <laughs> oh, God, boss. Aren't they meant to be making another one of those? Like Beverly Hills Cop? About it, basically. I think someone... I think it's Pelps's party guests arriving. He's, he's he's that's why he's behind the bar. He's he's. <laughs> he's just barking at everyone that walks past. Oh God bless them! Right. They're just letting them know that hey, this is where I live, and you guys can just bugger off. There's <laughs> one of those ones. Why won't that go in? Yeah, he's gone, Smirking. He's gone. He's finally cracked. Too much Gundam. Oh. Hey, me. <laughs> yeah, that's what Smirking. Finally cracked after 24 hours. Oh, mate. I'm delirious. So that goes on there. 125. That goes yeah. on there. I am. Um... The happy dog. He's a happy Well, that's sit. definitely one of those ones. Sit there. Do you guys have um, uh, pet insurance in the UK? Yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. paying, for paying vet bills and stuff. <laughs> yeah, because they they are not cheap. Yeah, I like um. I remember. That as soon as pet insurance became a thing, vet bills started going up. <laughs> yeah. It's like they all got together and said, look, it, we can start charging people. <laughs> we can charge them a premium every year. We can up our prices. This is good. It's like, <clears throat> you got to get him checked, but he's checked, but, you know, he's... I mean, like, I think I'm pretty sure it costs as much to take my dog to see a vet that it did for me to go and see a doctor myself, you know? Like, it's ridiculous. We're we're kind of lucky with the National Health where it kind of covers everyone, but obviously pets don't have that. (laughs) No. Oh, well, I mean, like, Muzz and I, we've got, like, a national health thing where a lot of stuff's... Uh, covered by the government, but still, there's um, a lot yeah. of GPs now are charging out of pocket expenses and stuff. So, oh, yeah. um, I, I'd like for me to go see my doctor, it costs me, I think it's $85 for a half hour, uh, and that's just a GP, nothing you know, not a specialist or anything. And the government will give me back out of that eighty dollars. We'll get refunded. What around? It's not quite half, is it, Muzz? But it's close. First so half. you probably get about thirty-five to thirty-eight dollars back out of that eighty-five. Yeah, but you're starting to reimburse find of, from the government. Of, yeah, there's a lot of less surgeries that are bog billing. Anymore. Yeah, no, that's that's become a thing too, hasn't it? 
doctors have decided they're not making enough cash, so they're charging extra. Yeah. Hey, then, then how much fun? They want every, every couple of weeks off. Yeah, I know. And and the other, I got a, I got a email from my doctor's surgery the other day saying um, that it's a new government thing, but I have to nominate them as my preferred doctor. Have you heard about that, Muzz? About that, yeah. Yeah. Um, my mum. So I've got to fill out some bloody questionnaire for them and say, "Oh, list us as as your main doctor." And I was like, "Okay." Yeah, mum's going through a bit of that at the moment. She's got multiple doctors. Oh god. Uh, which makes them, which makes a travel, well. I've got to I've got to take them there. Make yeah, some like different places to get everything she needs to have done. But your Newcastle's pretty pretty uh, well off with uh, medical stuff, yeah. Yeah, um, you've got one of one of the better hospitals around here, but it's 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 busy and yeah, yeah, they're all oh, yeah. Under- oh shit. Um. But yeah, she's she's up in in Cessnock, which is about forty minutes from me. Oh, okay. Um, so you've literally so got to drive up and then bring her all the way up. back to Newcastle. Well, the thing is, I've got to pick her up. Yeah, and I've got to take Dad with us as well because he can't be left at home on his own. Oh, oh, okay. So oh. I haven't got a carer. If we can't get a carer to sit with him, oh, that's he's come as well. That's hard work. Yeah, that's hard work. Yeah. And well, he's all wheelchair, so the car, getting him into the car, all wheelchair, right. the boot, go back, get mum, wheel her down, because she's not quick on her feet anymore. She's basically almost ready for a wheelchair as well. Mm, wow. Yeah, and it's like a, it's a two, three-hour round trip. How old were your parents, uh, uh, roughly, Mars? They're both in their nearly late late seventies. Oh, okay. Seventy-seven. Yeah, right. yeah. uh, My mum's uh what eighty eighty five this year in December. But you know, my mum's still I'm lucky. I've been very lucky with mum so far. So she still volunteers at a charity shop. She's been doing it for, oh, she got an award 30-something years now. She's been volunteering at a charity organisation. Yeah. Came and made a fuss, fuss of her and they put an article in the local paper about her and, yeah. But basically, when my brother and I were growing up and we were in high school, mum was um, mum never really worked after she got married. So, he said, "Well, hang on, that's probably an inappropriate statement because uh, she obviously maintained a house and took care of me and my brother and my father." But you know what I mean? She didn't have a paying job, if you know what I mean. Like a yeah. But yeah. Why has Rum got a cream egg on legs? Yeah. <laughs> it's a new Gundam. Uh, it's a, perfect I, cream egg holder. Is, there's my is, Gundam legs. Perfect very, for cream egg. That's very Easter rum. I, I like it. It's uh, getting in. I, in I, I am about to eat off uh, a cream egg. The old Cadbury cream egg. Do you guys get them all year round like we do? You I can know, them, yeah. I mean, they sell those all year round here, but yeah. but um, I know um, I think the US get them um at Easter time. I'm not sure I agree with this one, which is the white oh, chocolate one. cream egg. I'm not sure. Really? Oh, that's a new variation. 
Not sure I agree with that. Get too oh, I, don't, I don't mind a bit of white chocolate. It's not bad. What about, have, what about chocolate milk. in general with the cocoa shortage they're predicting? What? Haven't you heard? They reckon chocolate no. will, prices will shoot through the roof. Apparently, there's not enough cocoa to cover the world. Uh, there's not enough cocoa in supply to cover the world's uh, demands. So, like, yeah. They think that chocolate might go up in price and stuff. I blame the Swiss. Well, it, you know, <laughs> like they're famous for doing it, aren't they? <laughs> might lose some weight. No, joking. Do you eat a lot of chocolate rum? <laughs> like I might have some like at least once a week, but I'm not sort of a daily, you know. I'm sure I'll indulge on the old chalky Easter eggs over the next few days, but, but yeah, <laughs> that'll be one of the only times that I really let loose. But Yeah, I don't really buy it. Um... Earth Mom drops them around now and again. Ah, God bless her. <laughs> Both my parents used to work at Cadbury's. Oh, really? Yeah. That's dangerous. That's wow. dangerous. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Mate, how come you're not, well, I'll say it, fat like me? <laughs> <laughs> Growing up with that. You kind of you grow out of it, so we say you can just think this is too much of a good thing. Uh, one of my fondest memories was uh, we've got a few Cadbury factories in Australia. There's one in my in my state, but I went to the one uh, in Hobart, Tasmania, and went on a, a chocolate factory tour, and. Um, they all the chocolate was coming off the production lines and they were just grabbing it and putting it on the tray for you just to help yourself. <laughs> I think I had this massive handful of like cab you know, flake. And uh oh, you know, it was, the Yeah, the old flake chocolate, you know, the old wavy chocolate. and I, I think it was just like I remember it was it, slowly just melting in the palm of my hand before I could eat it because that's that really thin, wavy chocolate. But I love, I, love, I don't mind the old... Uh, I'm sorry. Old I flake. cannot I cannot now not put on the vintage flake advert with a really hot chick. Oh, the, yeah, definitely, definitely. I I've think they even it. ran that. They actually ran that exact ad here in Australia. Uh, vintage Cadbury Flake uh, Waterfall. Oh, bad. Sorry, searching for that. Wasn't she in a field like a gypsy caravan or something? Oh, she yeah. might have been. She I was a I there were a few, to be honest. Yeah, I think there was a whole series of them, wasn't there? <laughs> that is so funny. What's just come up? Uh, What's that? I'll show you. You, what did you type in? I'm a bit worried vintage about this. Cad, <laughs> vintage Cadbury waterfall flake. Yeah. And um, look at the uh, look at the search thumbnails. Here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Right, let's try one of these then. <laughs> Woman in canoe. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh no. Did she get in the waterfall? Did she get in the waterfall? Oh. Yes, that's, that's oh, yeah. Mouth. Mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. That's the money oh. shot. Hence yeah. why we love flake chocolate. I know what it's <laughs> Chocolate sounds. Yeah. Oh, 
that's gold, isn't it? That that never gets old. That ad. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't yeah, date at all. Like... That one. <laughs> you okay. know what the scary thing is. <laughs> Imagine how old that woman probably is now. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably sitting in a retirement home right now, going, I was the Cabri Flake girl. <laughs> okay, I'm drib dribbling a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to ask from where. <laughs> <laughs> Jumpy says, I can feel a stalag a mic growing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> uh, as Muzzer always says, uh, another stream my mother can't watch. <laughs> <laughs> she watches them anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, she, what'd she say? Stay away from that boy in Melbourne. <laughs> yep. Yeah. He's a, he's a bit of a <laughs> bad influence. Yeah. Stay away from him, Don't have to worry about, about Salacious. He's all the way over in England. Yeah, she's more worried about me because I'm yeah. I'm only a, a state away. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I mean, I could I could come up there and what? How many hours would it be? Oh, jeez. Have to be at least 12, 13 hours I could drive to Muzzers, I reckon. Yeah, it's uh, thereabouts. Because it's about nine, nine or so to get to Sydney, so you being further north. Hmm. Yeah, I'm doing this Gundam totally the wrong way around because... I've managed to get away with one piece missing for the legs, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be missing an arm, I think, because of the one yeah. piece I'm missing. So I'm doing the torso next. Oh, so you're missing one of those uh, blue black little pieces. connector? No, one of the little black connectors that you use to put the pieces oh, together. Oh no! Yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. Because I built that during the week, so I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Well, that's um. You'll find well, it. We'll get creative. We'll do something. You'll you know, you'll find it. We'll replace the arm with um. I don't know. You probably been uh, sitting. Probably been uh, sitting on it. It's probably I'll on the couch. It, I'll stick under a crack. Leg. I'll stick a kraken in there instead. Kraken. I love the kraken. Put a flake in there. Yeah. I army build these Krakens. Remember him? Oh. What yeah, is that? Remember? Hey. Yeah, what was he out of? He's the Kraken from Action Force. Oh, Action Force. Kraken. Oh. Kraken. Love these Krakens. Can't be a Kraken. So I might be able to stick a finger puppet on his shoulder or something. Finger monster. <laughs> that colour goes with it. That'd work, wouldn't oh. it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how pervy's the nose on that thing? I don't know, probably <laughs> pervy. Um, reminds me of a different product. Rib for her pleasure. No, sorry. <laughs> uh, right, put that there. Get rid of that. All right, do I need anything else from that? So one. Yes. PCE. PCE. Okay. E C E. That's P E. Where's P C? So you uh, the uh, 
having having your uh, Easter lunch with uh, Shane Blade. Oh, you certainly will. And um, I'm sure he's got some uh, jokes for you when you get yeah, there. He normally has. Normally has. Old oh, Shane. Shane Blade. Shane Blade. He'll be back. He's back. Shane Blade is back. He's back. And this time, he's packing. He's got a good sense of humour, that man. He's funny guy. Yeah. I could imagine having a meal with him would be quite funny. Yeah. He's just daft as well. He's just proper daft. Yeah. did not take <laughs> himself seriously at all, you know. That's a good way to be in life, isn't it? Yeah. Why have I not got a PC? Because PC. PCs are soft... Uh... Uh, the soft bendable ones. That's what a PC is. Why have I not got that then? You would. It'll be on that sort of like very bendable grey sprue normally. Let me see. E. <clears throat> yeah. It says P. E. P. C. P. C. E. Okay. Oh, I see. It is that? Yeah. Right. Okay. PC. I, I say. I say. If I say it any more, will it appear? Um. I can't bloody read it. I can't bloody read them. I think it's time Bob got some pervy glasses. E. There we go. Yeah. Although. He needs to do the other trick too with the masking tape. Write, write the sprue number on a bit of masking tape and wrap it around the sprue so you, you can see it easier. Oh, it's too much like effort, that. Yeah, I mean, jeez. <laughs> You'd have to get a roll of tape. you got to do stuff. Pen, uh, but, yeah. got to take extra steps. God. Yeah, Although I do, like, I do like the idea, Muzz, but... But we're not going to do it anyway. Um, yeah. It's all right. I, could, I should imagine if you're building a big enough kit that it might definitely be essential. I have seen people doing that model building, but yeah. I don't know what this is going to do. Uh, Actually, we've got a model model building show coming up soon too in Melbourne. Big we've one, got one big in... model, big model expo. Do you know we've got one as well in Birmingham at the NEC Model World? Yeah, right. I've never, I've never uh, even, even oh, knew that, I, even knew I, that was I, a um, thing. I was blessed because my my father wasn't a model maker of sorts, but he um. You knew that my brother and I had a passion for him, so he used to take us when we were kids to go, and I always used to love going along to see, you know, what people could do with a model kit, you know, and like Muzza here with his painting and how much detail is in, uh, you know, and they obviously you enter in competitions and get prize money and stuff for it, and but um. I also like to look at the um, different dioramas and stuff people would build, you know? Yeah. You know, it, it was just really cool just to look at that sort of stuff. So I found out the other day a small diorama is called a vignette. Really? Yeah, that's what I heard. Uh, yeah, I'm, I feel, I, yeah. Is that vignette, true? Like, a, a, a vignette, a, it's a, it means scene, doesn't it, I think? It's a scene, yeah. a small scene, yeah. it means, yeah. Well, that's what a diorama essentially yeah. is, so yeah. The, the, wow. A lot of the a lot of the armor builder guys build tanks and stuff. They'd like to do the whole brick wall with the edge of a building. It's just a tiny little yeah. di diorama. And people are calling them diorettes. 
It's like, no, that's for something else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tablets for something. Something else, yeah. Mm. I'm not sure about that, Carl. I'm just going to knock it back a bit. This is about, yeah, hey, you got your color striations box. Color yeah. Story. This is oh, like, yeah. this is like modulation. Color modulation. I don't like that color that I just used. It's terrible. Oh, do you remember the Fry's um, chocolate cream bars? I used to love those. Chocolate cream bars? Fry's. I don't know if we had chocolate. Did we have those, Muzz? Do you remember those? No. No, I can't remember no. those. I, I, I didn't mind the old uh, occasionally, but I never liked the the big bar. I only liked the snack size, um, the Bounty. The Bounty, so, yeah. Yeah, Bounty's always been a nice one. Um, my yeah. God, Mother's Plane's got chicken pox. Um, <laughs> there's an outbreak on Mother's, Mother's Plane. Look at that. It's it's chicken pots everywhere. <laughs> uh, Why is that not sticking in? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get one in for the, for the stream, didn't I? <laughs> I knew you'd come through. I knew you'd come yeah. through. Well, if it wasn't me, it would have been Mars. <laughs> I didn't. Even, I missed it. <laughs> uh, Bob, the Terry's chocolate cream bars were designed to put you off chocolate bars. I love those. <laughs> I love those things. He's addicted. They weren't Terry's. They were fries, though. It was fries. I uh, watched a video on YouTube of a walk around in Makes Models Derby the other day. Now I want another radio control car. I never had an RC, but we were talking about yeah, the I other never day. I really own one either. I quite fancy one. <laughs> I'd like a I'd like a remote control boat, and I'd and uh, a little one that I could take in the bath. <laughs> Yeah, like um, the little mini remote helicopters they were brought out. Like, yeah. yeah, they were cool, you know? Flying around your lounge room and stuff. Yep. yep. And then they stopped making helicopters and started bringing out, like, miniature drones, which obviously fly a lot easier. A lot easier to control a drone than it is a helicopter for some reason but i think it's Ooh, we got a uh, we got a tie we got a tie we got a tie oh yeah there it is now i'm starting to think about food again oh look at that that's cool the white face one and the blue yeah one. yeah 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 and, uh, <clears throat> I like the fact that there's 
color variations in the tie. Depending on film and also with the 3.75 toys. And... That tie fight has got me thinking about Thai food. <laughs> thai I, food. Made, I made pad Thai earlier tonight. Oh. Did you? Nice. I really like right, um, I guess Malaysian more than Thai, but I really like Nazi Goreng. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Nazi, Nazi Goreng. Oh. I really like that. Oh. Spicy, spicy rice. Uh, oh, I might, have, I might have to have some Nazi <clears throat> Goreng tonight. Jumpy's got the speeder bike and the scout drone. Oh, the drone. Oh, yeah, the Star Wars drones, isn't there? Yeah. What about those? They could be fun. Hmm. They could be fun. <laughs> I just, it's taken me all stream, but I finally just read what was under Pelps's name. <laughs> I haven't read it either. What's he put? I haven't read it either. What's he put? <laughs> Winner of the booty he's dragon. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's just hilarious. That's I love funny. it. Oh, well done. Uh, welcome to <laughs> Stu, the Universal Toy Collectors in the chat. How are you doing, Stu? Yeah, yeah Stu. Good to see you. Dude. Good to see you. Good you man. Does anybody want to see a model that I painted a long time ago in my youth? Yes, we do. You know, you know it's still going to be better than do. what we can do. <laughs> <laughs> he probably did it when he was five. It'll still be better than what I can do. <laughs> do we want to see what he do? Of course we do. <laughs> do we? Of course we do. Yes, we do. Hmm? It's a bit rude. Great. <laughs> Even better. Even better. Yeah. Whoa. Hello. Ooh. Wow. Hold on. I Heavy metal. Magazine. Heavy metal. Wow. Look at that. Bloody oh. hell. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting you to pull out. <laughs> yeah. You, 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 Oh, he's going to bring out a Spitfire or something. <laughs> nice. That's nice. That's a that's bloody... That's very good. Jeez. Wow. I'll Did you make that? Did you say that was a model? That's yeah, a, model. That was a, a, a garage kit. That they, uh, wow. They, uh, just painted it. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> No, we were not expecting that, were we? No, I wasn't. But, uh, well, that was awesome. And the fact that you still got something from when you were a kid, too. That's cool, yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, I've got a few things, but, yeah. Yeah, so you like that one? Yeah, I've got a few how more. Old, My dad's how, lost. Like, uh, how old? How old? How old were you when you made that? Uh, probably probably about early twenties, maybe. I oh, say so last week then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was that, Michael? Is he did die? <laughs> he, he clones himself. Remember, Michael. <laughs> Nice clones of himself. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Just get another one out of the tank. That's <laughs> 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 uh, uh, looking all right. <laughs> Needs a bit of dusting, but I painted that as well. Oh, the dark nice. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. awesome. 
Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's crazy looking. Yes, sir. That's amazing. I think Pelps could have his own studio. <laughs> Give it away work. I didn't I didn't really like it, so I painted it myself. Yeah. That blue's that blue's amazing. So went for the a wettish look, so he's like he's in the rain, but obviously it's not raining. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Nice. <laughs> very brushing nice. up, brushing up. Pressing up for the ladies. Push it up, push it up. I've got one of um Talos, you remember that Ray Harry Hosen? Oh it's up in the loft of my dad's old house, so I've got to dig that out at some point. Uh, that was a good one. Mm. Mm. Uh, Conan, I've got one of Conan holding James L. Jones severed head. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. I'll dig that out as well at some point. Steel. What is important in life? Yes. That was uh, that was definitely one of his good roles, wasn't it? Crom. It's weird, though, because... He did Empire a couple of years before that, and he declared himself to be Luke's father, and then he played False of Doom in Conan, and at the end yeah. he literally says, "If who is your father, if not me? And you think, hang on, he's playing like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your daddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh What's damn! That? Who knew there was two arms? Fancy that! It took me forever to build one arm. <laughs> now I'm gonna do it all again. <clears throat> well, I'm doing this totally the wrong way around, but clean <laughs> method to my madness. Mate, if it all comes together in the end, it doesn't matter, I guess. That's right. Well, I'm going to start with something. Right, where's that ball. sprue? Alrighty. <clears throat> yep. B fifteen. Okay. I was building one of these the other day and it had it showed on the instructions it said A and then the number. And then I look in my box and I've got A one and A two. But A one was numbered up to say fifteen and then a2 was numbered from 16 onwards. So, yeah. But, I mean, normally, and they used to say A1 or A2. You know what I mean? Like, now I'm looking at all the sprues to find the piece. Having a wind muzz. Well, I don't know whether it'll show up on camera there. I don't know. You can, you can see the difference between the two sides, between this side that I've done and that side that I haven't. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's a lot. The right hand side appears to be a lot sort of a little duller. It's not as shiny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I can see like in that black where the the pilots walk, the strips. I mean, that looks pretty. Oh, textured. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can. That's textures coming up out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I that's what I did the other night when I was on in mid middle of the week. Yeah. 
I was telling Bob how I had to do these two lights either side, these yellow lights. So I masked up to do them, painted yeah. them, and as I peeled off the masking, uh, the masking tape, I ripped off half the decal that was Oh, these. yeah, 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 yeah. I, um, I actually was watching your stream at work, but I, I, I missed some of it because obviously, you yeah, know, people stuff. ask me questions and stuff and it's annoying. I want to say, listen, <laughs> can't you see I'm watching YouTube right now? But... <laughs> yeah, so it took me a bit to. I had to, ended up having to mask up where those decal decals were and paint paint them in them instead. Uh -huh. so I did. I made up a really thick, like a thicker than usual batch of rubber black paint and really low air pressure, and it sort of spat. <laughs> so that's where you can uh -huh. see. You can see there's like a texture. Yeah. The pads. Later on, I'm going to get some um, pigment out for there. Just some light pigment. Looks like dust on it. But yeah, this is just breaking up the stark one color. So you've got multiple. Yeah. <coughs> I've got to ask Moses, have, uh, have you ever done the Bandai X Wing? Yes. I mean, what? Uh, I've only done one. The 72 scale one. Yeah, yeah. Big. What's the point of that? <laughs> oh, there's, <laughs> so there's another one, uh, the bigger Use one. Who's a pilot? Oh, what's the point of what? Oh, the flat figure. Yeah, he's just like a cardboard cutout of a pilot. <laughs> well, originally when they came out, you, that gave you a standing figure. <laughs> uh -huh. But something to do with someone else's model kits. It was cl like classed as a figurine, and oh. someone put a stop on Bandai from doing that because someone else makes that scale Star Wars mm. figure. Or something. Figurines that something, small. Something along those lines. I don't think I've ever seen a figurine that or, Star or it's, Wars that or it's, small. Disney puts out a license so you can make the model kit, but not a figurine of the character. That'd be right. Because that, that'd be Luke. So it'd be, someone else, to, it'd be someone else to pay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like G'day, Scratch. But yeah, I've got... Yeah, so it's the first Bandai kit I really made, actually, the, the X-Wing. And it's, uh -huh. the first, it's the first kit I airbrushed. I'll go and pull, I'll go and pull it out in a minute. Yeah, I'm just going to pull it out. Cool. He's gonna pull it out. Wipe it out. Pull it out. He's gonna pull it out. Wipe it out. Pull it out. Well, he's pulling it out. Warn, warn the chat. Oh, cat's there, so you better be careful when you pull it out. Give me that. I'll be back. Jeez, he's got to go to a different room to pull it out. Yeah, How big on. is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> How big is this thing? What's going Race on? Race for impact. <laughs> hear this loud thud on the floor. <laughs> be more, be, be more like a. Oh, Here it is. <laughs> I'm a bit scared to look. <laughs> Again, I want my parents to watch that. Wow, Red Leader. Cool. Yeah, that was the Red first. Leader. Red Leader. Red Leader to Gold Leader. Yes. How about you guys try and blow up the Death Star? <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just hover out the side here, you know. Oh, Mars, that's brilliant. Look, that's so cool. Look at he's that. Even, he's even got R5 in the top. Look at that. Yeah. He's got like. <laughs> wow. I think the oh, wow. wings still close. Oh, so, what tight. scale is that again? That's 172. Oh, okay. That's so the same as the uh, the big Millennium Falcon that I've got. Yeah. So, I'm thinking. 
that was you, sick next to the Millennium Falcon. Because these come with landing gear. Well, oh, you can yeah. actually put you can put landing gear on these. So yeah, um, I'm gonna have him park next to the Falcon. I've got a I've got a couple of these. I really want to. I really want to do a Sol, uh, one of Sol Guerrera's. Oh yeah, um, yeah. X wings with the black stripes through it, but it's hard to get a really good shot, like a picture of it. Yeah, like it goes too exactly, quick. Yeah, exactly where the bloody lines are. Yeah, but yeah, the uh, I mean, brilliant, brilliant kit. Just don't. And that's oh. the first kit I found out that you shouldn't use. Uh, where is it? That stuff on them, because the re oh. only reason why there's a there's a R5 head in there, yeah, is the R2 head that I had on there, because they because mm. they pressure fit, and enamels do something to the plastic. I had him all built, and I was doing the weather, and all of a sudden R2's head split into about four pieces. Oh, jeez. Just shattered. And I asked the guy at the model shop, and he went, Yeah, yeah, enamels. Don't put enamels near them. <laughs> well, there you go. But yeah. It's a good thing that, um, yeah, I, the guy at the shop I go to, he, he told me that straight away. So that was a good thing. Yeah. Just be careful what you use on the band. I was like, Okay. I said, yeah, well, I have heard that before. Because I'm a off. member because I'm a member of the Top Gun Model School and our oh. instructor Muzza <laughs> informed <Yeah>. us. <laughs> I mean, the other thing about this kit, this is your you probably ask perhaps. In here. If I can remember where it comes apart. One bit comes off here. Yeah, that bit. Come on, come on. Now look at you done now. All You've right. made him break his model kit now. And there's more engine underneath. Yeah. Like that bit slides. And of course I've painted it. Yeah, yeah. It's that sort of detail they've put in. You think, why do they bother? So you've got why to bother some... that bit's gonna go in over the top of it. Yeah. I love how they tell you this too. You, you, the piece on the back. So there's a little pointer stick. So that point, that piece there, mm -hmm. they tell you in the instructions, you you can either put it that way up with this bit at the top or the other way around because the studio models were done with both. Some, were, some had that bit pointed up, some had it pointed down. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Give you the option. Yeah. I've seen a, um, someone did a diorama of... They must have used the Bandai kits or... Oh, no. Well, maybe Revel, I don't know. But they um, did the um, the X-Wings flying over the water, you know, like uh, Poe Dameron. Oh, yeah? In, yeah. Yeah, I saw. Uh, I was on uh, actually Pinterest, and um, it came up on my home page. I was like, "Oh, that's cool! I'm saving that diorama picture." <laughs> but keep an eye out for this one too, Michael. That was twenty dollars as well. Yeah, uh, for but... some reason, my store didn't have any vehicles. They only had um, they had the um, Grogu kit. They had Mando, and they had. Uh, about three of the Boba Fetts, and that's all they had. Um, mine's got... I mean, if I really wanted one, I guess I could go online, but I'm just, yeah. I don't know if I want to make more Star Wars vehicles because I've been buying those, um, uh, what do you call it, the Micro Squadron vehicles, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like... How many versions of the vehicle do you need, kind of thing? You know what I mean? Like, so that's why I sort of stayed away from the vehicles as much. But I mean, like, they look really good. 
like I mean, even before you paint them, like they, the detail in them look amazing. But this one, was it this one as well? He's got a little hatch that opens. <laughs> Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Brilliant little kits. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, as I say, they, they're so well engineered. And um, the fact that they snap together so easily and stuff, it's just, it's awesome. Yeah. Ah, there it is. Well, you guys are right. You're in the Gundams. Yeah. Oh, mate, I'm, I'm loving my... I really am enjoying it. As I said, um, I might slow down a little bit during the year but because I'll, I'll have other commitments with my coaching and all, but I think I'll still probably make at least one Gundam a week for a while. So... <laughs> How many weeks in a year? <laughs> uh, I'm going to need more time. shelving already. I haven't even started displaying the ones I got. <laughs> I already need, already need a new shelf. Uh, Massive stash. I don't know. Like as I said, like this kit I showed before. This massive, like, I mean, the thickness of that box is ridiculous compared to the others, which are about that thick, it's like twice, nearly two and a half times the thickness. And it's got a bit of weight, this kit. I've been too scared to open it up to see how many sprues there are. Maybe I should have a quick look. But, yeah, this will be a fun build. Right. That's, my, that's my reward after I finish uh, rearranging my room. For the next week, because this one's going to take a while to build, I think. Uh, Scratchy says, "Did the AT AT come with a snow speeder?" Um, the uh, AT ST does. It's a similar scale. Nah, yeah, wow. you, have to, you have to get the small scale. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can get the small one. walker and uh, snow speeder. Yeah, that that set. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it now. Yeah, that's and one of the it. small Bandai kits. Scratchy, yeah. they're not actually that expensive, yeah. and it's so a snap um, together. Yeah, and they're the same scale as that Walker. That yeah, like yeah, you could buy all of that, and you could uh, do your stop motion scratch. Oh, that's the wrong way around. The scratchy, way. scratchy's uh, not very artsy compared to these stop, ones, stop motion stuff, uh, which is quite cool. articulation. Not a lot. No, not really. No, oh, picked up the wrong spoon, silly That's boy. Right. It's the wrong way around. Really? You've got to hate it when it's the wrong way around. I oh, know. <laughs> I still haven't finished this one too. A little. What's that? The dead Starfighter with the ring. Obi Wan's Starfighter. Oh, really? You know, I've never seen that one for sale. Yeah, I only saw it once, picked it up, and. Yeah, I've but never the, seen that the, one for sale. The paint job is freaking hard. Like this, that ring. It's like, there's all bits said. that are painted and other bits that aren't, and then trying to find a color that's the right color. But there's your own stuff. What, you can't go to the model shop and say, I need Imperial Grey? No, that... Um, you know, what I, it's you know what's funny? Like how, it. how, like, they literally make the colours of... Uh, yeah. Like, they've got German Grey for, like, the German tanks and... Yeah. RLM colours. So yes. RLM is... Uh, Ryan Luftwaffe... Brian Luftwaffe, Luft, Luftwaffe, 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 yeah, Luftwaffe, Mac machine or something that's called. 
Substantial. ROM. Okay, I now have legs, a waist, a torso, and a head. That's what she said. Yeah. My legs. So, Can't feel my legs. Now I've got to do two arms with only one half of the no, connectors. No, 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 no. You've got to find it. Let's see, let's see. Oh, you could surely you found it by now. You sure you didn't do a Michael and not cut it off the sprue? We'll find out. We'll find <laughs> out. It's possible. I it's still possible. can't believe I did that. Oh, my God. It is possible. Oh, man, what a thing to be doing. Looking for something I hadn't even cut off yet. Looking, looking around the floor, pulling couches apart. Oh, well. This is possible. Alright, I'll get rid of that sprue. That one's done. Let's take these off. At this point, I might as well just take all the pieces off. Yeah, I think I'm going to have Nazi Goreng tonight now. What's everyone having for dinner? Mate, I've got to get past breakfast yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which I've already expressed um, my keenness to... Toast up some hot cross buns. So oh, that's yeah. what oh, yeah. yeah. But uh dinner, I haven't even thought about that one. That's a, a fair way away for us yet. Yeah. I mean Muzz's having a roast for lunch, so we know. Hey. Aren't that's... you having a a roast? No, that's not that wasn't me, that was someone else. Oh no, Rum was having the roast. That's right. Well, that's yeah. on Sunday. Oh, that's on the Sunday. Yeah. Oh yeah. What day is it well, today? It is it's Sunday, Sunday for us. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it's Easter Sunday for you. Yeah. yeah. So happy to, yeah. So well. Yeah, officially, weird, it's man. Easter. Yeah, yeah. Today's Thank egg you. day, isn't it? Today the chocolate egg day. Yeah. Isn't it today you meant to give your chocolate eggs around? Yeah. 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 Get your Beauty. eggs out. Get your eggs out. Get, yeah. Tooth decay. Here I come. <laughs> right. I'm cutting all my little knobs off, uh, Michael. Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> a little knob. <laughs> You're cutting your knobs off. Okay. I'm cutting my knobs off. And I'm using your advice. I'm not. Using my fingers on my knobs, I'm using my cutters. I said, but you just got to make sure you're holding the part as you're cutting it off the sprue. I'm holding my little knob. You are. I'm oh, first. well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> I often hold my little knob. I am. This is the bit I'm, I am missing a little <laughs> knob, though. That's the problem. <laughs> that is my problem. I'm one, I'm one knob down. <laughs> I'm one knob down, people. Uh, are people still watching us? <laughs> Apparently so. Are, are we still live? Uh, Stretchy's having bangers and mash. Ooh, bangers and mash. Oh, <laughs> Mate. You can't go wrong with bangers and mash, Scratch. Sounds good to me. Well, I'm having for dinner. Wow. Oh, bangers and potato bake. Mm. Bangers and mash is a this... staple, isn't it? It's a staple. My mum put me onto this uh, pre-made 
it's potato frozen potato pieces. Yeah. With everything with with the cheese and everything already in it, frozen. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Drop it into a ramek and throw it in the oven and it's potato bake. Yeah, I think my mother used to use something like that. I mean, you know, my I've got I own one cookbook. To be honest, so I'm not a great chef, but uh, my my cookbook is a uh, hundred different. I think it's a hundred uh, different toast recipes. <laughs> Yes. Call my chef I am. <laughs> Give me a loaf of bread. <laughs> I was gonna say I really need that, but I actually thinking about it, I don't even own a toaster. Oh really? Earth Mama, if you're watching this <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Your boy doesn't own a toaster. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, I hate to think that uh, after making that comment that she arrives this week <laughs> with a toaster. <laughs> I, wa I watched your stream. <laughs> that Australian man made me go and get you a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, in your recipe for things on toast, you probably don't yeah. use the toaster, do you? You probably use the grill. Yeah, no, most of it I think is like grill or um, some some of it pan fried. What toast? Haven't you had like a on a frying pan, like cook oh, like stick a stick an egg on there? Yeah, stick an egg on there, like yeah, yeah, like you know things like that. Yeah. What else? What else? What, what, what else do you put on there then? All right, I'll, I'd have to try and find that book because yeah. uh, it's quite a, quite amusing. Yeah. I mean, I think it's oh, more of a, a comic a comical book than a serious. But, I was watching I mean, a, a, a one on Instagram where a, ch a chick takes a slice of bread, cuts the crust off, yeah. squishes one half of it, like a little bit in the middle, yeah. squishes it with a spoon, puts in uh, tomato paste, cheese, pepperoni, a little bit what? of egg around the outside edge and folds it up and squashes it with a fork and then brushes yeah. it over with an egg wash and puts, them in the, and puts them in the air fryer. Oh, an air fryer. See, now we've got one of those, and I still haven't used it. My mother was gifted one for Christmas, and I've been like, I, I kind of, <laughs> yeah. I kind of don't want to use it before she's used it first. <laughs> do they create mother... mess? Do you have to like put oil? Or, or, do they? No. They, no? Uh, I like the idea if if you're cooking like like something like. Like chicken, um, well, I did bacon in it the other day. It makes the best bacon. It, it all drips into the bottom. You take the thing out, bit of paper towel, wipe the grease out, and it's done. You can actually Rip, buy, I think you can buy stuff that actually you can put at the bottom of your air fryer and then just. Yeah, this, that silicon stuff I think works. Silicon. Yeah. Frozen so stuff. that that was the thing that my mother said. She goes, "I don't want you to use my air fryer yet." And I was like, "Why is that, Mum? I've got to make sure I get that special stuff because oh, I don't want to be cleaning it all the time." So my inquiry regularly with her is, "Did you manage to pick up that stuff you wanted yet, Mum? So we can use the air fryer." And every that, week it's the same really answer. Oh, I keep forgetting. Um, <laughs> like if, if you do chips in it, it doesn't really leave a stain. You could, if anything, like a tiny bit of oil might come off the chips, and you just wipe it off with a paper towel. Yeah, well, that's what I've been telling her. Yeah. But 
but I've done pies. I did those bacon wrapped sausages. I want to cook. I want to fry some dim sims in there. Now here's the thing: dim sims they can go a little bit hard, like they go really crunchy on the outside. Yeah. Dim sims, isn't dim dim sum? Got dim sims? No, dim sims are like a dumplings. Uh, a big uh, dump. Chinese dumplings. Yeah, a bit like like a different shape dumpling. Dumpling is all. Yeah, know. dim sims are. I mean, they're a Western Western Chinese invention, but um, uh, you could get them at every Chinese restaurant, that's for sure, in the Western world. No, have I just been calling it wrong all this time? I thought it was dim sum. Dim no, sum. no, no, no. There dim, is sum dim sum the style, is the style of the meal. Yeah. But dim sims are like... Um, so the most common one we get is sort of... It's like a... Oh, small, like say about this big between my hands, and it's like a a roll, um, and it's got like a generally they'll have like a mince meat and um, some vegetables, is it, is it and crispy? then it's wrapped in a. Uh, well, you can have it either way. You can steam them, and then you get like a very soft. Um, I don't know what what would you call the uh, outside of a dim sim muz? It's not really pastry. It's it's, it's more it's like a noodle same. or something when you steam it. Yeah. It's yeah. It's and, pretty much um, the same as dumpling. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's very close to a dumpling. We can't yeah. can't say that, but because um, crispy wonton, yeah. wonton. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you can people like that's one of the things. Like if you go to I don't know a sporting event or something, there's probably they'll sell you hot chips, hot dogs, pies. If you're lucky enough, you can get yourself some dim sims. Mm. Um, and I, I quite like them fried when they're all crispy and stuff. Um, bit of soy sauce. Ooh. Not. Not bad, not bad at all. Bad. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. What am I missing then? Oh, pieces. Yeah, you you go and buy dim sims. They normally put them in like a uh, a thick thickish kind of brown paper bag with a bit of a liner in it and. Mm. They'll put them in there and then you just – so that it's a thick bag so that you can tip, like, soy sauce in the bag and it won't, you know, run all over your hands. And good morning and good evening and goodbye. Oh. <laughs> hey, buzzer. Baz, how you going, mate? Baz, how you going? How long are you streaming for, Rum? I uh, don't know. Um, it's three. No. Yeah, normally be finished by now. I want to finish this Gundam. I'm not far off. Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm I'm just cruising. But I just have to go to YouTube. And it's like Jesus Christ, he's still streaming. I know. <laughs> I know. I had to nip up to my sister's for so long, eh? So yeah, I was well, going to say, has had a full day. <laughs> <laughs> half a day, half a day, <laughs> all fucking day, man. I just give them back about an hour ago. Uh, He's achieved a lot in his day, and we're just sitting here streaming. <laughs> My nephew got dropped off at half past eight this morning, so I've had him for half past eight this morning. <laughs> Yay! Did he come and wake his uncle up straight away? Get no, up! I was I was already up, man. Get up! Get up! <laughs> I've been choked up with the, the cold for the last few days, eh? So I've not really oh, been really? sleeping. So I was up, <laughs> I was up before Milan went off. Yeah. Uh, so Scratch is a um, fan of French toast. Hmm? Well, French, oh, French toast, toast is good. Nice. If you make French it right, it's good. I like French toast. That's nice. What's Jumpy say? You can get greaseproof paper. <laughs> Trace yeah. the air fryer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can also cool. get silicon ones as well that can fit in it as well. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, I'm going to make all these suggestions and maybe I'll finally be allowed to use the air fryer. 
Oh, trust me, that air, air fryers are probably one of the best things that ever got made. Yeah, the I mean they're supposedly meant to be better for you. In, in... see if you have uh, see if you have a pizza. And yeah. You want to, make, you want to re, like give that little refresh. Oh, yeah. Shove it in that for five minutes, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Uh, Same right. with Greg's. Oh, oh, Robert, I, I, I think an air fryer uh, is going to change my life. Oh, oh, really? Uh, ever get a Greg sausage roll? Yeah, oh, I heard that for five minutes, man. It brings it back yeah. to life. Oh, Greg's that's a good idea. Be awesome. We've heard a lot about Greg's but in Australia. Those hot cross buns, I put them in for just right on a minute. At, and it just, like, cut it in half. It just toasts them up. Yeah, no, I was going to say, yeah, yeah, they were brownish and stuff. So, yeah, they did a good job. Yeah, wow. All right. Get in the air fryer. Oh, I, 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 I found my nephew all day, Michael. And yeah. We ended up going to the boot sale this morning. Probably the worst mistake I ever did. <laughs> Taking him to the car boot, chasing him around the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, have you spent... Have you, have you spent or up? did you have to spend a lot of money uh, to buy him stuff? No, he had, his, he, he had his own pennies, but I, sp- oh, I only right. spent eight quid, but what I got for eight quid was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I got a big, I got a, not a big box, but I got a decent sized box of Marvel Marvel figures for six quid, and then I got a random bag that really? lasted just by a couple of quid for. Well, that will come in handy when you're doing your customs and stuff to have all those bits and pieces. Oh, the the Marvel Legends, that are, the Marvel figures I got, they're all like the four inch ones, Michael. Oh wow. So Jeez, oh, how come when I go to a car boot, I don't have wins like that? It's random for me. And I've got, I've got a new friend for 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 Rum's uh, finger puppet. I've got Hulk. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome! Oh no! Oh no! It's also, it's also uh, an Ultron. That's awesome. And then, oh, oh you got you got a load of Marvel finger yeah. puppets. Gerald and Gerald and Bert are gonna meet the Avengers. <laughs> yeah, yeah the they, 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 they might come your way anyway. Oh that's oh. awesome, Baz. Oh, <laughs> some new friends. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh uh, uh, Baz, all right. Oh, I have a the look, man. There's I'm a, I'm a the all like the Marvel Marvel Legends, like the four inch. There's um, a couple Mr. of six Mr. inches. Barris, Mr. Barris, Mr. Barris, I'm a bit nervous around the Avengers. I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous around the Avengers. I can see why. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> He's, he looks pretty intimidating, that man. Oh. I'm a bit stressed. I'm a bit... I'm I can't stressed. wave my arm. Why are my arms don't wave like yours? I'm bloody stressed. I'm stressed. I'm stressed. Oh, no. I'm really calm stressed. Down. But... Calm down. Calm down. Oh, Look, I'll, oh, give you, I'll give you a hug. Come on. Hang on. Hang on. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't imagine where this is going. Oh, oh. oh. Stick in my mouth. Stick in my mouth. Go on. Go on. Is it? Uh, this box is actually... Oh. It was worth me and fucking six quid anyway. Oh, French me, Frenchy. Oh, man. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what cat's speaking on that. <laughs> oh, I thought she would have left us a long time ago. <laughs> I thought she would have gone. Those guys are absolutely off their dials. <laughs> I should imagine. There you go, Michael. What? Fucking things like that, man. This is actually That's a decent, amazing. This is a decent box. Guy is always, very good. I just I, I seen a couple figures. I seen like the rhino. I says I'll have to, I'll take the rhino and I'll take from an apocalypse. And it's like if you want the box six quid. I was like I'll take it for six quid. Oh, nice. Was it getting towards the end of the day? And he was... <laughs> he was oh, we were... We were that, 
Yeah. That's you always a good time to go to a car boot too when they they don't really want to pack everything up. All right. I, was, I wanted I wanted twenty quid for you it. But give me give me six now. <laughs> well, we got there about half past ten, eh? Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, well, the one I go to, uh, the one I go to regularly, it only it goes from uh, eight a.m. till twelve p.m. So it's only a you know four run. hour window. Oh, is that Sting? Yeah, this this bag has actually got quite a few from my name. Oh, it's nasty boys. There's like the ultimate waters in there as well. He always, I tell you, he always put, he always, he always gets good stuff at the, the uh, it's me. Uh, it's is that a DC collectibles? Uh, oh, that's movie? cool, Joker. That's another, another Joker to add to the collection. Nice. That's a cool Joker. I like that one. That's a cartoon one, yeah. Everybody is Fifred. Oh, Snarf from the Thunderbirds. Oh. Wow. It's Snarf. Oh. There's, also, there's also a Mumra in there as well. Mumra. Jeez. There was also a, a Shitara. Nice. Oh, I really want to buy two fucking cars for us, man. So, um... Have you ever seen this? <laughs> That's cool as fuck. Uh, what is that? Is that a, don is that a Cadillac don a dinosaur car? No, this is a or... BC Bikers. It's, it's uh, BC Bikers. That's what they're BC crying. Bikers. Oh, okay. Cool. I, had to look there. I had to look there. So this comes with like a, a wind-up motorcycle. Oh, right. Well, there's, there's quite a few from in. There's Macho Man. Uh, I think that's either Earthquake or Typhoon. Wow. And then there's the, the Hitman. And then there's a Virgil. This is what I'm, this is this is what I'm weird. This is what's kind of concerning in the new. They're already hitting the car boot sales. What? Wow. Because the reason I was looking in this bag is because it had a couple of these in it. Oh, what's that? I don't that, know that. What, what series is that? That is a Triteraton from Turtles, but it's a Super 7 one. Oh, okay. I think this last year that I got this bag, I think she's been, I think she's done a, like a house from an empty and they've just because they shouldn't be, I mean, they shouldn't be in, shouldn't really see them at uh, boot sales. And then there's also my, my favourite, my Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. Let's see if you recognise awesome. this from. Talk about falling on your feet. That's uh... awesome. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't see. That I have Pete's still in there. Pete will probably know what this is. Oh, I don't know who that is. The GI uh, that, is that is Independence Day. That is uh, the Will Smith figure from Independence no Day. No way. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's funny. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know they made figures for Independence Day. There you go. Yeah, there's a few from Doctor Who figures in here as well. Oh, cool. That's what I call a close encounter. I need a lot of accessories like as well. Did you get a lot of accessories? Like, as I say, I can see accessories in here because there's no Kylo Ren, but there's a Kylo Ren from the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> there's a skateboard of some sort. I don't know what that's after. I'll have a look at that. That might be off the one of the turtle guys, because you know the, how they have that skating vibe on the Ninja Turtles. <coughs> then I've got quite a few of these knockoff from in whatever they are. Oh, I love the knockoff figures. No, no, I think this is like number four or five. Ian. Wow, got quite a few of these uh, simians. Oh, there's a Rena. Oh. Do you ever remember the Prime Evil? 
Prime you, Evil. I can't even remember yeah. that much. Oh, it was a Doctor Who not, uh, side series Prime, wasn't it? Oh, okay, yeah. was it? Oh, yeah. Was Another it? Another Master Chief to add to the collection. Oh, Cat will be happy. Oh, there's James Bond. I'll probably do a, I'll need to try and do a proper video on that. But I had to go to the hospital on, um, not the hospital, was it? No, no, the hospital. It was yesterday. I'm fucking my date. I'm got behind on my days. Went to see Godzilla yesterday, and then on the way back, we decided to nip into the charity shop just along the road for it. And yeah. I managed to see some vintage uh, Star Wars. No way! Nice. First time in. Probably the first time in about two years that I've, I've found vintage Star Wars feathers. That's I think I've already got these, eh? But you can't have enough of them in uh, Kill Bears. I can't, remember who that, I can't remember who that is. That's Claw 2. Yeah, that's... Yeah. I was so going to say his yeah. name. He, he looks for me. I just can't really remember what he's... Um... There's something else I got yesterday. What was it? <laughs> Oh, Go on. <coughs> I found him. I couldn't. I mean, he's he's a bit loosey goosey, but I couldn't leave him behind. Is he a jewel? He's a jewel. Yes. Oh, you just need a I new O ring. Yeah. I don't. I don't just know. Just know he's just need a new O ring and yeah. a little bit his uh, his bollocks. I think he's missing. Who's bollocks. he then? Who's he? Because I don't know all of them, so I'm still learning them. Do you know who he is? He's he's familiar. I just can't remember what his name is. Nah. Maybe somebody in the chat, mate. But I couldn't leave him behind, Rummy. Really. Nah. Even though he's oh, a bit. You can't, you can't leave him behind. You've got to take. A bit knackered. Him. Yeah. You can't leave him. Hey, yeah. Duffy. Yeah, I found another Cobra Trooper yeah. in there. Oh, cool, yeah. Can't beat the Cobra Troopers. Good old Duff, man. Then I went to, I went to hey. the game as well, and I picked this up. Because it was only eight quid. What? Oh, for, is that a, a Fortnite figure? No, no. Power Rangers. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. I know I know everybody sent it Power Rangers, eh? But when I seen that for eight quid, I was like, because hmm. they're usually like 35 fucking quid. Oh, and then, uh, 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 let me add to oh, the how cool is that? <laughs> oh, and also, also found this today as well. I've got that. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Special lady friend. Wait. Yeah, but this fucking, this thing's, this thing's metal though. I think it's the, I think it's a part of that uh. elite. Like, yeah, it is. Stuff. I've yeah, got yeah. one of the. I've got a Darth Maul out of that series. Yeah, it's got, see, I've got a partial diecast, partial uh, plastic. Yeah, I do have a Kylo Ren, but I never come with a stand. Eh? But yeah, yeah, my, my Darth Maul. Yeah, it's the uh, yeah ones they were selling at Disney parks. The uh, ultimate. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly what that is. Because that's the that's the Kylo Ren I've got. Yeah. Oh, okay. But I never got a stand with that. I didn't realise that they, they come with stand, but even he's fucking... He's a bugger for uh, what if... Oh, I find... I actually... My my issue with my um, Darth Maul is I, I he, he just collapses. So he can't, can't stand up his own weight, old Darth Maul. I had the same issue with the Phasma one. She just kept falling over. Yeah. The only way I can get my Darth Maul is to either lean him up against something else or... Yeah, I did, but <laughs> last week I got a load of um, Baker Scouts. So really? I'll, I've got one for my... I've got one for my nephew for his uh, birthday, but... 3.75s, yeah. I picked up uh, one to keep carded, one to keep loose, and then I've got a spare one. Oh, that's out of uh, that's one of the gaming great ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah it's yeah. weird that he never come with a blaster. Nah, because they've got the the stick to fight Calvinists. Yeah, yeah, usually, usually when you get a 
a biker scout, he always has, he always comes with a blaster to go on his. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right, in his ankle <laughs> ankle holster. I thought that was a bit a bit strange. I thought it was at the, the back of the figure or something there, yeah, but no. It does look like that maybe a blaster's meant to be there. Oh, but I've checked the uh, when I got them, I was like, I had a look at them, I was like, oh, there's no blasters with that. I said, that's quite weird. Yeah. They are, the blasters can fall out quite easily, actually. Oh, the amount of times my, my nephew's got one of the, 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 the big one. What, what, what were they called? The, the Titan ones. And the amount of, t- the amount of times he's lost it from a blaster and then found it. Huh. Yeah, I got I got a big twelve inch. Uh, yes, you have biker scout, <laughs> and he, I got him from the car boot, and uh, he's still got his blaster in his hand. But I don't think it goes in his holster. Oh no, it does. He can put it in the holster. Yeah, right. I didn't know that. Yeah, I wish rum. <laughs> yeah, so I was glad. I was glad. My, my nephew, he got a couple of <coughs> up as well. He got he got uh, four four turtle figures, so he was happy with that. Uh, close up of the bike. What's the bike? Yeah, I was showing off. What's he showing? What, what are you showing off, Muzz? Oh. It's got his oh. garage happening. Oh, gee. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at that what, bike. What, what That's on. amazing. Well, the bike's all right, but. Yeah, there's, there's, look well, at that two, jerry can. That's there's, amazing. There's, there's That's two right. bikes. There's, there's two <laughs> bikes there, I would say. There's two bikes there, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> which bike do you want, Michael? I don't know which one I want to go for a ride on. <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun. Shotgun. <laughs> Uh, ham sandwich, uh, ham sandwich time. <laughs> very nice, very nice, very nice. That bike is an absolute ball like to build, though. <laughs> it is. It's, it's a shock and build. It took me ages. <laughs> And I've actually, I gonna... it, it... <laughs> must, have, must have taken that... you a while to build that bike. Yeah, both of them. <laughs> no, nice paint job. Bike, bike came in a two pack. Fun builds, fun time. Okay, this is this is this is where I'm at. I've done him. But, but you're missing a piece. I'm missing a, a piece. piece. Oh, it's, it's, it's arm. Yeah, I can't stick it off because I'm missing a piece. So you'll find what, it. What was I going to suggest? Oh, I was going to do that, wasn't I? Let's see if. <laughs> ah! A prosthetic <laughs> win. That's right. Yeah. Oh, it can I? Yeah, that works. There you go. <laughs> there you go. No, that's scary. <clears throat> and the collect from the terry. Now, there you go. That's how. There that's how to make Gundam into a terrifying experience. <laughs> Here we go. So I've done. It's taken four hours and ten minutes. You got a lot one. further than I did, sir. So there we go. Well, I'm actually, well, one of my I'm actually uh, I'm panel lining mine as I as I build, so that takes time to get all the. But at least one of my friends has been buying a shitload of Gundams, and he's no, no. I'm I'm been looking at Gundams. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just seems to be a really. It's really cool. It seems to be a cool it's little like hobby. Cool, it's like the Gundam buildings kind of come back again, man. I mean, building Gundam sets back in the 90s, man. But I don't know as advanced as what we get now, kind of. 
this basically yeah well the the kids are actually better now so apparently because i didn't build gundams back in the 90s but i was too busy sobering up and recovering from nights out and things like that <laughs> Hopefully this is gonna fucking come apart when I pick it fucking up and it did. Alright, that's um we'll come we'll pull the stream to an end. Let's uh yeah. let's check out what Michael's done. Oh I've done bugger all. I've got a head <laughs> and I've got a, I've got an arm, but as I said I've been panel lining and you can see the little black marks and it takes time, mate. It takes time to do these things. Michael, you've really, like, not really done much, have you? No, because, uh, to be honest, know, just, no, just I haven't. A bit disappointing, really. Yeah, um, I've let the team down. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, it's. I might eat a fat spiders. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, Bob Jesus say that. Uh, all right. No, we're not. Let's go to let's go to um Palps and see what Palps has done. All right, man. He's made about six kits. Mm-hmm. <laughs> built them. Yeah. Uh, I built them. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Thank you. I might be sure to die on. He actually has built like nearly six kits. No. <laughs> yeah. A couple of R two legs just working on the body, but yeah, yeah. yeah I'm looking forward to building my R two when I get it. Very nice, very nice. And yeah, well, that was that was built a long time ago. But, yeah, yeah. Cool. Very good, very good. And the fact that he did that in a bar, like you know. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Serving up customers, listening to the dog bark. Yeah, with a vicious, with a vicious animal. <laughs> so please go and follow the nuclear jower. I um, think that's what the dog was telling us. Yeah. Pod racing Palpatine. <laughs> Thanks, Palps. Good to hang in with you today. Yeah, it's been good. Been good. And yeah. let's go to see Muzza. Dog. Darth Lord of the model kids. That model's amazing. Absolutely amazing. What? Uh, 67.chris. 67.chris on Instagram. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for having me again. Uh, we'll say goodbye to Baza, the Dark Lycan. As I say, the only model kit that I've bought probably in the last two or three years was this. Oh, wow. Halo one. I didn't know they made kits for Halo. Oh. There you go. Yeah, I do, a, I do have a couple, but I'm fit to touch the other one because it'll bring them off the shelf. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Mm. Um, there's no Lego studs tomorrow, um, because oh. I'm at Earthlands. so um, but I am back Monday night for Monkey List and Hangout, and we've got um, Bill from the Weird Adventures YouTube channel. So, but it's slightly later, it's 10 o'clock at night because he's over in the US. So if you're free, come and hang out Monday night. I'll probably be doing game streaming, to be honest, during the day. So, uh, but yeah, Monday, Monkey List Hangouts at ten o'clock on Monday. Uh, thanks yeah. everyone for watching. You guys have been awesome. Uh, please smash the like button, leave us a friendly comment, and subscribe to all of our accounts. Happy Easter to everyone. Mm. And, um, Agree. Happy Easter. Enjoy. Don't uh, overdo it on chocolate, people. <laughs> now listen here, Michael. Listen here. Listen here. Rawr. Michael, for five weeks, for five weeks, Michael Reed, you're going to fly against the best fighter pilots in the world. That dog don't hunt. You were number two. Cougar was number one. But Google lost it. He turned in his wings. Now you guys are number one. But remember one thing, Michael Reed. You screw up just this much. You'll be flying a cargo plane full of rubber dog shit. Oh, God. Oh, God.